All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Uh, today we are going to share an article made by Muslims about the amazing person who is unique in everything. Unbelievable. His name is Muhammad. Uh, and, you know, we as a Christians, we should not share this article with anyone. I mean, if you, this is why I have this picture there. I mean, it's, don't, don't, don't tell anyone. All right? Because if people knows what is in this article, I mean, who is going to stay not a Muslim? Who in the world will hesitate for a second after that not to convert to Islam? Actually, me, myself, almost I converted after I saw this article. But, <clears throat> you know, uh, the reason I, I, I could not reach to that point, uh, it's very embarrassing, you know. Uh, I remembered a lot of things about Muhammad, and I said to myself, either Muhammad is lying or the Muslims are lying. So which one is going to win, the article or what Muhammad said? I hope that the Muslims are listening and I hope we will have some Muslim callers uh, today we are earlier than the time which we used to do uh, because later I have a lot of work you know uh, to do so I apologize uh, usually as you know 4 30 p.m. New York time Sunday right but today we are coming earlier now the article in the front of our eyes let us show it to you in a website called, called Quran Reading, Quran Reading, 15 things about the character of the Prophet Muhammad, B-P-U-H. Uh, by the way, if you think that this is a chemical thing, this is not, you know, Muhammad, he have a special chemical by Allah, which you have to add after his name, P-B-U-H. Which is even false because the Quran does not say P B U H. The Quran says Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, which means Allah pray on him and salute him. And just the video, the previous video before this one about Islam, we explain that uh, point. Now there's 15 things you you people need to know about the Prophet Muhammad, and I hope that's not many of you will convert to Islam after reading those 15 things. Actually, there's some articles they have 25, some articles they have 70 things, some articles they have 100 things. You know, I cannot go all over those 100 things, but I found that this article is like uh, <clears throat> the most interesting. All right? So let us see what is the most, uh, let us say, interesting things about the Prophet. A speaker corner, are you a Muslim? We have a guy in the text, his name is Speaker Corner, trying to get attention. We will give you attention, my friend. Are you a Muslim? Why you don't call me if you are a Muslim? So we can hear you. Do you want to call me? Hmm? <clears throat> okay, let us start. Number one thing about the Prophet. I mean, this one alone is amazing. It's even beyond the tectonic plates beyond the galaxies, beyond the understanding of science and physics, beyond the understanding how ice cream is formed, beyond the delicious the, you know, the, the delicious food which you can make to you by your mother-in-law, you know, who, you know, she's trying to get, uh, get rid of you. But, I mean, this is amazing. For the sake of Allah, everything Muhammad he did for the sake of Allah, I mean that's that's amazing. <laughs> the dog is going crazy. What dog? In the TV. All for the sake of Allah. Okay, let us count like this. Muhammad he had sex with Aisha when she was a child. Why? Because for the sake of Allah. Muhammad he went to his own son house and he found the wife alone and she is married and she have a husband. And her husband is considered as his son. And Muhammad, he said, bear witness, this man, he inherit me and I inherit him. 
but when he went to his son's house he said oh my heart is beating for you I mean this is obviously it was for the sake of Allah to the point even Allah he made the Quran about it I mean obviously why Allah he made Muhammad going horny to a married woman and she is married to his own son that obviously it was for the sake of Allah it's not because Muhammad is horny and his testicles are going crazy it's not because this woman she is very white and she's tall and he like her and he saw her almost naked it's not because he like her ass or her breast or her private part no it was for the sake of Allah obviously yeah hello I mean what's wrong with you why you cannot see it is it obvious a man he go to his own son house and he found the wife alone and then he said to her praise be to Allah the one who made my heart a flip for you see he just mentioned the name of Allah there yes he is a flirting having a relationship with a married woman and she is married to his son but it was for the sake of Allah everything for the sake of Allah Muhammad he made the chapters in the Quran that if you want to see the Prophet you have to pay him first that one was for the sake of Allah because Allah he need the money I mean <laughs> I mean <laughs> and don't you know Muhammad he made a chapter saying be the Prophet before you meet him in a private meeting why why we cannot meet the Prophet unless we pay him first what kind of a prophet this prophet is you see even the Muslims in their website this website I was wondering why I have uh, advertising but those Abdul they want to make money from their website so they, they it, it was only their website have the advertising appearing I thought it's the browser have a problem with it okay let us see what Muhammad he said to his followers and it was for the sake of Allah Obviously, all for the sake of Allah. All right, here we go. Chapter 58, verse number 12. You want to meet with the Prophet in a private meeting? All right, this is what you need to do. It's very easy, there's no requirement except pay him, pay him chapter 58 verse number 12 oh who you believe when you consult the messenger in private spend something in charity before your private consultation <laughs> what's spent there it says give him not to spend there somewhere give him why why for you know i mean what kind of a prophet if you want to speak to him in a private you need to pay him I mean okay, okay I, I don't have money what I would do now what if I am a cheap hmm? uh, the prophet is a prophet I mean he is a messenger of God since when since when God he put conditions in order to speak to a prophet and the condition is you have to spend money first I thought prophet came to the one who is lost the one who don't believe in God the one who don't uh, he's not good not the one is good the one is good you do not need the prophet anyway so now the the bad ones they want to come to the prophet what the prophet uh, he is requirement to see him you have to pay him first yeah today uh, I have early broadcast for the sake of Allah all for the sake of Allah guys all right yeah hey guys I'm thinking to buy a villa in Florida for the sake of Allah who want to help me what do you think shouldn't you guys help I just I want to I want to buy a humble villa and they're like it's not it shouldn't I don't I don't care it is big if not just like 12 rooms is fine okay I mean 
like four bathrooms, two swimming pools, one for the mature women over the age of six, and for the one who they are old over nine, you know, the old women. So, I mean, I, I think you guys, you will help, right? For the sake of Allah, I mean, come on. I'm a prophet of Allah. And uh, if you want to meet me, how many of you call me every day asking me for help? Imagine if every one of you, I say to you, okay, go and make a donation of uh, $25 or $100, and I will talk to you. I mean, that's a good business. Unbelievable. I will be rich. Everything for the sake of Allah. When Muhammad, he said that the fifth from every attack is to Muhammad. Was that for the sake of Allah? Huh? Muslims was that wa'lamu wa'lamu innama ghanimtum min shay fa inna allaha khum fa inna lillahi khums wa huwa rasul and look guys the prophet right away he put the orphan after his name right away like he's a good guy you know he's a good guy yes he want to take the fifth to his pocket but he's a good guy why muhammad he need the fifth to his pocket Huh? And know that out of the booty thief, a thief, Muhammad, he want to guarantee his share of the theft, where nobody can discuss with him no more about how much he should take. It is right or not. Allah said. Allah said. That's it. Allah said. In the case of the booty. That you may acquire the fifth of the share is assigned to Allah and to his messenger okay the pocket of Allah is where see Muhammad he made it clear this is for Allah but it's my pocket <laughs> hey prophet uh, we got seven underwear two sandals those are for Allah hmm? Are you sure? I mean, obviously, everything is for the sake of Allah. Why people? Why people don't see it? Huh? Why people don't see it? Isn't it obvious? Muhammad he never, never required anything for himself. Do we have any Muslim is listening? He would like to call us uh, for the sake of Allah. So everything Muhammad he did, it was for the sake of Allah. Arabian women was for the sake of Allah. Cutting trees was for the sake of Allah. Burning houses was for the sake of Allah. Ordering the burning of people alive was for the sake of Allah. Cutting a woman to pieces when she was over the age of 80, almost 90, Ummu Qarfa. Cutting her to pieces that was for the sake of Allah bringing a Jew and beating him to death asking him where is your money where you hide your money was that for the sake of Allah unbelievable I mean I want to do that business for the sake of Allah Muhammad he have at least according to Muslims 13 wives registered wives for the sake of Allah it's obvious Actually, if you ask Muslims, they will say to you that Muhammad, he married the mother of the believers, Aisha, because he, Allah, he have a wisdom. He want her to memorize the hadith. Hold on, hold on. I mean, Muslims are suffering from hypocrisy. As I know that a Muslim woman are not equal to a man to be a witness for anything. So how you accept the mother of the believer, the child, to be a witness for what the prophet did. Just because she is speaking about the prophet, she is above the rules for the sake of Allah. Otherwise, women are not accepted. The Quran says, in many places, that women are not accepted to be witnesses. At least one woman, 
sorry, two women and one man, in the case of borrowing money only, anything else, women are rejected to witness, especially if it's about a capital punishment uh, witnessing, which means like adultery, uh, killing, uh, theft, anything have to do with the blood punishment, that's no, no, women are not allowed to be witness at all, Not even if there is one billion women, they saw a crime or a criminal, their witnesses is not accepted. But you know, who need witnesses for somebody is praising the Prophet? You know, Aisha, she said, who of you can control his penis as the prophet Aisha comparing the penis of the prophet to others look what she said and by the way all of what he's doing there it was for the sake of Allah Aisha, she, she was, Aisha, she was fasting. And I will show you the other hadith where he used to suck her tongue. But all of this was for the sake of Allah. The child wife. She said that the Prophet, uh, uh, you know, he used to kiss me, etc. And then I will show you the hadith about he sucked my tongue. And she said, وَمَنْ مِنُكُمْ يَمْلِكُ إِرَبَهُ كَمَا كَانَ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ which of you control his penis as the same as the Prophet? The Muslim translated here, he control his desire as Muhammad. Hey, Aisha, how do you know that Muhammad is the best in controlling desire? I mean, did you have sex with other men? But Muslims, they take it as long as Aisha, she is saying something good about the Prophet. The Muslim don't question. How this woman she knew that Muhammad is the best in that field? Is that based on expertise or studying cases? She was a social worker. This is Sahih Muslim. What's what week hadith? Imagine I marry a virgin. She never been with a man, and then when I get take, take off my clothes, she said to me, "Excuse my language." Ooh, look! Wow, this is the biggest ever I seen. <laughs> Secures my language, forgive me, God. How she know that this is the biggest, especially at that time? There is no uh, YouTube. Hello, so she, she is witnessing for the private part of the prophet, but she never seen anything like this before. Who of you have have testicles like the prophet? Who, who of you who have a penis like this? You will not believe it how handsome his penis when he puts sunglasses on them. I mean, what the heck? That's amazing. She must be virgin. Obviously, she was. I mean, very much. I mean, extremely very much. Let me show you this one. I mean, and this, and this, uh, This coming hadith, obviously, the Aisha is very shy. I mean, obviously, she is very shy. She is very, very shy. Oh boy. Okay. Okay. Let us see. Let me find the hadith. Oh boy. Oh mommy. For the sake of Allah. Narrated Aisha, the Prophet S A W S. What happened? In the article, they said B U H B. Do you think, guys, the chemical of the Prophet changed the bent in the situation? Oh, they hear now he is in bed, he is sucking tongues. So he is S the A W S. Ah, okay. All right. The Prophet S A W S 
used to kiss her and suck her tongue. Yeah, Aisha, can you tell us how the, like, I mean, can you give us more details? He used to push his tongue to the left or to the right first. I mean, how he suck it? He suck it like hard, softly, uh, the tip of it, all of it. <laughs> Unbelievable. For the sake of Allah. All of this is for the sake of Allah. I mean, and look how conservative this religion is. You know, imagine I have a wife, she come here, uh, and you guys are waiting for me, and supposedly I am a big shot. And she take the mic and say, hey guys, do you know how a Christian prince sucked my tongue? Huh? 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 And all of you, because you are a fan, you will say, how? How? Tell us how, please. Can you open the camera? How he suck your tongue? And look, the topic is very religious. Muhammad is fasting. Look at this. Muhammad is fasting. He is not allowed to put any liquid in his mouth. But he is sucking the tongue of his wife. He Aisha, was Muhammad sucking something else and you did not mention? Or it was only the tongue? Seriously. I mean, it's okay. I mean, we are all over the age of eight. We are older than you, obviously. Tell us what he was sucking to. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder what Muhammad was sucking when he was fasting too. He start with the tongue, he end where, where? I don't know. He might end everywhere. This is the prophet. He have no limitation from Allah. I mean, do you see how Mean, this is serious religion. That's why actually today I was uh, I was worried if I start today. I mean, some of you might convert to Islam, and you will see. I mean, the Muslims are very conservative to the point they are collecting those stories in their books. I mean, this is serious story. You know, we receive right now a message from Saudi Arabia from the city of Medina. The wife of the prophet peace upon him she just announced that the prophet as we speak he is sucking her tongue and something else okay okay don't go far away with your thought he was sucking uh, some candies okay after because she have candies in her tongue okay so i mean i know you are thinking dirty way no it, it's just a candy in her mouth. I mean, Muhammad, and he is fasting. He is very, very, I mean, this guy is a good guy. He have no time to waste. All the time is for Allah. He's fasting now, and now it's time to suck tongues. I mean, this is for the sake of Allah. All right. Well, you know, for the sake of Allah, Muhammad, he ordered a woman to give her breast to an adult man. Was that for the sake of Allah? Or he was making fun of the stupid Muslims? Huh? Oh. Aisha, because the prophet, he ordered a woman to suck, to give her breast to a stranger. So he suck her breast before he enter upon her. Man, I'm going to Muslim countries very soon. Guys, I'm going to visit all my neighbors. All the Muslims in the area. And because the Muslims are conservative, he will say, sorry, you cannot get our house before you go and suck my wife boobs and uh, <clears throat> and I will do it voluntarily for the sake of Allah <laughs> all right all right listen listen Aisha herself she will not allow look how conservative she is she will not allow anyone to enter upon her unless he go and he admitted to one of her nieces or his sister or her sisters or her, their daughters 
and they suckle from them. I mean, isn't it? And she and look at this, guys. Look, look, look at the translation of the Muslims. The she sent she sent uh, those guys to her sisters to do what? Look at the translation. The translation. There's nothing. It's about about suckling. In Arabic, it says arda'athu. Okay. Well, here it says nursed. Okay, Aisha, she is saying men. Huh? Let me show you the other hadith. This one is not really clear. Hold on. Yeah, let us go from this one first. Then we go to Aisha. The message of Allah, a woman, she came to him and she said to him, uh, her name is Sahla bin Suhail. Her name is Sahla bin Suhail. She said to him, O oh, Messenger of Allah, I see in the face of Abu Hudayfa, uh, you know, like he is upset because of Salim is entering upon me. Now this woman, she is coming asking for a solution from the Prophet, and the Prophet is the guy of solutions. I mean, he is very well known everywhere. You have a problem, you come to the Prophet. Solution is right away, for the sake of Allah. And then he said to her, Suckle him. What? Muhammad, he said to the women, to suckle this man? Suckle him, she said. How I can suckle him and he is a growing man? <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, okay. You guys don't understand why this happened. This is happened for the sake of Allah. Allah will not be happy if I enter upon the wife of a Muslim Abdul before I suckle his wife. If I hold the breast of the wife of a Muslim and ten times, you cannot do it in one time, which means you have to do it in ten different days until you are satisfied. And by the way, we are always hungry. Especially for those things, unbelievable. <laughs> you know, you go in the Middle East, everybody is doing suckling. Unbelievable! It's a crazy uh, countries. So you have to go first and suckle the women boobs, and then you can enter upon her. He is already in her lap, you idiot. I mean, what kind of a stupid mad religion this religion? He is already in her lap. What enter upon her? The Muslims are worried about a man entering upon your wife and shaking hands with her. But they are not worried about a man suckling their women breast. We cannot shake their hands. We can suck their nipples. That's astonishing. <laughs> all right, all right. That's why actually I'm afraid many of you after you see this you convert to Islam. I mean, obviously you guys you might go crazy now All right Look at this open-minded religion Three some four some 72 some, you know, how many women they will have sex with me in one in, in one bedroom in the heaven? According to Muhammad at least 72 women 72 women with me alone in one bedroom doing what second name? <laughs> all right all right just take it easy i mean it's very normal you see in the heaven of allah there is no borders you never heard of organization it says without borders in the heaven of allah there's no borders open sex I can show you even from Islamic reference that in the heaven of Allah you can have sex with your grandmother you can have sex with your sister you can have sex with your aunt you can have sex with your niece who is a Muslim want to say to me this is a lie who is a Muslim I don't want to say have guts because obviously they lost it in the war in Syria who is a Muslim have the courage uh, I cannot say that too they lost it with the war with the Russian who is a Muslim have the the 
I don't know what they have left. What is left? Any Muslim can answer us? Is it true in the heaven of Allah? You can have sex even with your own family members? And they execute us, guys, because in the heaven there is no lineage, you know. Here in earth, we forbid from having sex with the so you know the lineage. I mean, this is the lineage is important now, so it's not a sex, that's it. Even the logic of this religion is disgusting, stupid. What lineage? The reason you are not allowed to have sex with our woman without marriage is just a lineage. Is that why? Well, actually, I can show you from the Quran right now as we speak and from the inter petition that you can have sex with your daughter in Islam if she is daughter from adultery this is why I say if you have if you have a Muslim uh, boyfriend if you are a stupid woman who have a Muslim boyfriend uh, he can have sex with you and he can have sex with his daughter from you yes his daughter you know imagine if he's allowed to do that to his own daughter what he would do to your daughter who you live with him he is legally lawfully allowed in Islam to have sex with his own daughter from his blood because in Islam she is not considered as his daughter she is not Islam don't consider a daughter from relationship out of marriage a daughter a daughter from outside marriage in Islam she is not allowed to carry her father name why because she is not his daughter according to Islam she cannot inherit why because she is not his daughter she cannot get a child support why because she is not his daughter but in fact she is his daughter you no know? he is the real the, the you know the father of this daughter just because she is out of marriage he can you know he can have her I want the Muslim to challenge me to say this is not a true Any Muslim? Any Abdul? Who is a Muslim would like to call me alive? Okay, who is go who is a Muslim would like to call me dead? As long life you cannot do it. Who is a Muslim willing to call me and do uh, do suicide? This is like, boof, you know, explode your Skype on me for the sake of Allah. Hmm? Yeah, suckle him. Okay, let's go back to the article. I mean, we don't want to miss this amazing article because there's a lot of things we need to cover. So everything for the sake of Allah, even Muhammad taking money from people, raping women, stealing children from their family, burning trees, uh, having sex with Aisha, uh, 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 taking the wife of his own son, taking the fifth of the booties, everything, everything Muhammad he made for the sake of Allah, everything. What else? Mannerism? If, 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 if. Read, 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 read. Prophet P B B U H was ibtum, ib, ib, ibitum. I don't know how even to read it. Of good manners. If, if, if this is really, I'm going to die now. This is too much. This is too. This is lovely. This is so lovely. The prophet he have the best manner. Really, like what? Like what? Every action he take, every move he make. I'm watching you. <laughs> the prophet, he have the best manner. What's wrong with What does it matter? He suck tongue. He suck boys. He rape women. What is better than this man? This is the prophet, man. All right, all right, all right. The prophet, he have the best manner of mankind. The prophet did not swear at anyone, nor he was rude. 
Guys, I don't know. Am I reading that correctly? Am I reading that correctly? The prophet did not swear at anyone, nor was he rude, nor he did curse anyone. Ish. This is in Al Bukhari. Okay, let me go to Al Bukhari, Abdul. Al Bukhari said that. Ah, uh, hmm. It has got you busted. Bukhari, huh? Bukhari, but there's no hadith. Bukhari said that. I mean, come on. <laughs> he never been rude. He never cursed anyone. Guys, read with me. Sahih Muslim. Sahih Muslim. Okay, let's read. One is enough. Uh. Abu Huraira reported Allah Messenger me bees upon him as saying, Hey Abdul, who is saying? Who is talking there? The Messenger himself. You said the Messenger, he never been rude, he never been cursed, he never harmed anyone. Look at your Prophet saying about harming and being rude and cursing and beating the Muslims. Beating them, not only that. Oh Allah, who is talking Muhammad? I am a human being. Are you sure? I mean, seriously, are you sure? This guy is a human being. I was thinking something else. And for any person amongst the Muslims, he is. This is doing what to the Muslims? Upon whom I hurl medication or invoke curse or giving him whipping. <laughs> Make it source of a purity and a mercy. What the heck? In the article, they said the prophet never, never curse anybody, never hurt anyone, never harm anyone, never was rude. The guy he just said admitted in one state in one statement. He did whip people for with no with no justice because it says there make them for the mercy. It's not justice. I'm just a human, which means I make I make I make uh, you know it's not justice. It's not justified. Otherwise, you do not need to apologize for it. I am a human being for any person among the Muslims upon whom I hurt, I you know, I, I beat, I curse, I insult. In Arabic, actually, it says, Sabab to who, wala an to who, Sabab to who, as sabu wallan. You know, sab in Arabic is you saying to somebody, Your mother is a whore, you know, your father is a pimp. You're a this is what Sabab to who. That was Sabbato. And the curse, we know what curse. In the article, they said, Muhammad, he never did any of this. Why Muslims do you lie? Why? I'm serious here. Why Muslims love to lie? Give me three reasons for Muslims to lie. I can find you one million reasons. Islam is like a business. It's a business, actually. Even the Quran described. Allah in the Quran, he said, Should I lead you into a trade? A merchandise? Islam is a merchandise. The Quran itself describes Islam as a merchandise. Read with me. Ya ayyuhalladina amanu. This is different. Hold on. Uh, this advertising in this website is making me sick. I think I need to change the website. You know, it keep coming up. Look how many times the word Tijara merchandise is appearing. Chapter 35, verse number 29. But here it says it clearly it's a merchandise. Chapter 61, verse number 10. Should I lead you into merchandise? Huh? What is merchandise? What is the merchandise Allah is asked talking about? Oh, you believe? Shall I lead you into a bargain? Islam is a bargain? Is it? Muslims, is Islam is a, is a merchandise? Is it a business? 
Do you see it? Should we list Islam in Amazon.com? You know what their mind is about, about money. Should I lead you to a merchandise? It's a merchandise. You give Muhammad money, Allah will give you a corner lot in the heaven. Actually, there's a hadith, a story about a guy. His name is Abu Dahdah. Abu Dahdah, he have a farm full of palm trees. And you know, if you have a farm and palm tree uh, full of palm trees in the desert, that's mean you are really a lucky guy. You are rich. We are talking about the desert. Muhammad, he asked him to exchange his farm with the corn a lot in the heaven. <laughs> Do you understand, my friend? All right. Who of you here who have a front house beach who would like to exchange with me? A corner lot in the heaven. Any one of you? Oh, All what you need to do, you give me your house. If you have a house in the Florida, in the front, in Miami Beach, and I will talk to Allah, He will give you a corner lot in a more more important location where you can sell hummus and falafel. Oh, what is that? So in the article they said that the prophet never been rude he never cursed anyone but as you see they don't show us where he's taking this from in the same time what is in front of us it says the opposite Muhammad he cursed people Muhammad he beat them unjustly Muhammad is harming his Muslims he is abusing them and he is admitting that from his own mouth. Do we have any Muslim? So why Muslims until now we could not find one decent thing in this article. Guys Unique thing about the prophet number three. What is that? Is that a humor? Am I reading this correctly or my English is funny? The prophet he have a humor or hammer hammer I think <laughs> People think that being a religious leader huh, Had nothing to do with the humor the other he will all strict strictness and uh, strutter and, and this uh, okay okay once a man asked Allah messenger for an animal to ride he replied that he would give him the baby of the she camel to ride on the man asked what would he do with the she camel baby Muhammad replied is there any camel which is not born of a she camel. <laughs> this is funny. Like what? Is that the joke? This is a joke. Muslims, are you sure that this is a humor or stupidity? This is the joke. Let me show you the humor of the prophet, which is a clear sign of stupidity. I'm not going to show you this one about breastfeeding for an adult. We, we, we spoke about this one. Let us show something else. Huh? All right. When the following verse, you see, there's a missing here word verse, was revealed, not equal are those who believe who sit at home. <laughs> ah, look at this. 
I don't know if you guys you will get this here where the funny part about it. Muhammad is now receive a verse from Allah. His friends is around. His friends are around. And one of the guys is sitting there. He is a blind man. His name Ibn Ibn Maktoum. So Muhammad he said, not equal are those who, who uh, of the believers who sit at home. He's talking about those who go jihad. They are better. All right. Ibn Umm Maktoum was sitting behind Muhammad. This is the blind man. They put him in the back always because he's no one. He said, Oh, Messenger of Allah, what about me? No, this guy, he cannot go for jihad. He's a blind. I'm blind. He said, He did not leave before the following revealed. <laughs> Except those who they are disabled. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good joke. Okay, unbelievable. Uh, uh, Muslims, Muslims, are you saying to me that Allah He forgot about the disabled? Now He corrected Himself because the blind man He opposed this. <laughs> And guys, right away, Allah, he sent the verse. Allah, right away, before the guy leave. Muhammad, he says, it is not equal those who go in war, jihad, and those who sit home. He forgot about the disabled. A disabled guy, he's there and said, hey, Blafet, hello. Hello, Blafet. I'm, I'm, I'm blind. So Muhammad, he right away, he received a verse from Allah saying, except those who they are disabled. Are you happy now? Are you happy? Are you happy? Are you? Huh? Are you? It's not equal. It is not equal. Do you think that the one he can dance salsa is equal? He is not equal. He is not equal. He is not equal. The one he dance salsa, not the same as the one he do not dance salsa. Hello? But prophet, I'm I'm disabled. I cannot dance salsa. Okay, uh, except those who are blind. <laughs> what a stupid, crazy religion. What do you want me to sing? Okay, we will we will have a the coming show is going to be uh, uh, the the what they call it the American Idol. American Idol. Oh, stupid program American Idol, you know what American Idol the best idol in the world is Muhammad get us Muhammad in the stage look at this Look at this. This is sense of humor Allah himself he forgot that disabled are there and Then the disabled guy he said to Muhammad are you stupid or what? How they are not equal and there is people who cannot go to jihad. What is my fault? So this man, he corrected Allah right away. Let me show you another stupid thing. I mean, a sense of humor, sorry. All right. It, I was narrated by Umm Salama and Umm al Mu'mineen. She is a, one of the wives of the Prophet. I was with the messenger of Allah. S A W S. You see, notice that the S A W S can be changed depending on the situation. If he is in the bed or with the wife, it's S A W S sometime. If he is standing, not playing sex, he is P U P H D, you know, or B H D like Shabir Ali. While Maimuna was with him, then Ibn Amu Maktoum, this is the same guy, the blind guy, came. And this happened when we were ordered to observe the veil. Okay. The prophet S-A-W-S said, Observe the veil from him. Observe the veil from him. We ask Allah Messenger. Messenger of Allah of Allah. But isn't he blind? <laughs>
<laughs> hey, hey, hold on, hold on. Hey, my wife, cover yourself. I have a friend is coming. Cover yourself, okay? But your friend is blind. So what? Cover yourself. But the guy is, is blind. Hello? Hello? Muslims, you're a prophet ordering his wives to cover themselves, but the guy is a blind? Is that a sense of a humor or sense of a stupidity? Who is a Muslim here? He have an answer for this is smart prophet. Hmm? Wolf, I think Wolf is a Muslim. I can't tell from his text he's boiling. How are you, Wolf? Are you a real Wolf or you are aftermarket Wolf? Who is a Muslim here? When I tell me what kind of a prophet he says such a thing, the wives have to be covering themselves because a blind man is coming. How that happened, man? You think your prophet was taking too much hashish? A wife cover herself, okay? Uh, husband, uh, the guy is blind. So what if he's blind? Are you blind too? Are you? <laughs> you know, this is remind me of our neighbor in the Middle East first time he got a TV a man appear in the screen he ordered his wife to wear their hijab <laughs> mm. and Abdul Seriously, any I'm doing here. I mean, I want to understand if that is is that a prophet who is having a sense of a humor or he's serious here? Obviously, he's serious. And he says to them, Don't you see him? But I as I know, Muslim women they can see men. Since when Muslim women they cannot see men? He Muslims, is your women allowed to see men with their eyes? Who they are not naked for sure. Huh? He, you, he, they can, right? So what your prophet is talking about? A man is coming to his house as a visitor. He's blind. So what if they can see him? What the problem? What is the problem? What is the fear of Muhammad? That is not a sense of a humor. This is a sense of a stupidity. Do we have any Abdul? What is that language there? Interfaith. What is that language? Let me translate. Hold on, hold on, hold on. He is saying the prophet was amazing, have amazing sense of humor. He is counting the list. He have amazing sense of humor. He have an amazing underwear. He used to leak. Uh, he used to shake his penis three times. Uh, the prophet, he used to have three testicles. Uh, the prophet, he uh, used to use his left hand to clean his ass. Okay. He, he Muslims, you can use your left hand to clean your ass, but you cannot use your right hand. What if I, if, what if somebody cut your left hand? What do you do? You use to your tongue? Huh? What do you do then? Um, hmm? Why? What? What's? You know, I mean, why the left hand? If you use your, I mean, how you can clean yourself with the left hand only? Huh? Left hand? Okay, open the camera. I want to see a Muslim how he how he can do it. Anyone knows why a Muslim he is not allowed to eat with the left hand? Who knows? Who knows the reason? A Muslim, uh, he cannot eat with the left hand. 
I got a message from the, from uh, from Allah. Okay. If you eat with the left hand, shaitan will eat with you. You believe it? And I was wondering why the shaitan of my neighbor, he was getting fat. Each time my neighbor, he eat with his left hand, shaitan is eating with him. Is that a sense of a humor or this is a sense of a stupidity? Hmm? Any Abdul? Any Abdul? Muhammad he said, لا تأكلوا بالشمال. Look at this knowledge, man. Don't eat with your left hand, for Satan eat with his left hand. Okay, and? <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on. So what if Shaitan, this is, was an old news 1400 years ago. What if Shaitan switch his hand right now and he is using the right hand? What you will do? What the Muslims will do? <laughs> and and hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So what if Shaitan he eat with his left hand? I mean, who care? Hello. Okay, now Shaitan he eat with his mouth. That's mean we should not use our mouth. Because whatever he used, we should not use. Correct, guys? L listen to the logic. Why we should not eat with the left hand? Because shaitan, he used his left hand. So whatever shaitan he used, we should not use. Okay. How shaitan he eat anyway? He have a mouth. That's mean we should not use our mouth. I mean, what's stupid? Of the, 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 this is this is stupidity. If shaitan eat with the left hand, we cannot eat with the left hand. Okay, shaitan he uses his mouth, so we cannot use our mouth. Here we go. What we can, how we can find a solution for the stupidity? And what is the problem if shaitan he eat with his left hand? So, what's my business? He is shaitan. I am a human. God he created for me two hands. He, by the way, Muhammad, did Allah, he said to Adam when he created him, eat only with the right hand? <laughs> Unbelievable. I mean, this is very beautiful religion. This is very smart prophet. Superstition, stupidity, madness, crazy, dumb, dump, whatever you want to call it. Ah. <sighs> By the way, guys, do you know what shaitan he eat? As long as we are talking about eat, just to show you the contradiction of the stupid Muhammad. Anyone knows what they eat? What shaitan eat? Anyone knows? What shaitan he eat? No, boogers. Uh, Muhammad, he eat boogers. Shaitan, he don't. Uh, Muhammad, he used to collect boogers. He eat bones. Yes, he eat bones. What else? What else? Okay. Well, Muhammad, you see, a group of the genie, they came to the Prophet Muhammad. And those genies are from Mesopotamia. They are, they are from Assyria. Like, they are relative to Sam Shamoon. <laughs> uh, Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. Let's see if we can find the hadith.
uh, we will we will find it for you so anyway a group of genie came to the prophet and they asked him prophet what we should eat if 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 you see that genies are exist since the beginning of the time but until the time of muhammad they have no idea what they should eat me and muhammad is the one who will tell them what to eat he is the one who knows those genies they were fasting for thousands of years and uh, you know they are waiting for Muhammad to come and teach them what what to eat so Muhammad he told them what to eat he told them that he will eat bones and each time you grab a bone to eat Allah will make it full of meat hmm. All right. Look what Muhammad he claimed. He claimed that one night, always, always Muhammad have no witnesses for whatever, he, whatever happened to him. You see, they came to him and he said, "Genies, they came to me. Genies, they came to me. And uh, look, let us read from here. Okay." Read with me. Uh, the Muslims they asking Muhammad, we missed you last night. We're like, well, what happened? Where you been? Etc. So Muhammad he said, There come to me an inv inviter on the behalf of the jinn. <laughs> Hello, yes. Who are you? I uh, said, I am from behalf of the genie. I came to invite you to come to our house. All right, let me get my son tonight and my computer, my laptop, and I will be right with you. All right. And I went along with them, and I recited to them Quran. If, 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 if. That's amazing. The prophet, he went with the genie, to the genie, and he recited Quran to the genie. Man. And then he narrated, he said, then went along with us. And showed us their traces and trace of their embrace. <laughs> the genie, they have fire sitting there. <laughs> Unbelievable. Guys, okay, why Muhammad did not show them when the genie, they are there? I mean, can't you call the genie again? Show them to the be Why no Muslim can see the genie except Muhammad? Why this guy is the only witness for anything happened to him? He went to the seven heaven 11 in the top of a flying mule. Nobody was there. Even his wife, she said, I did not even feel him moving away from me. What is the witnesses? He took them and he showed them a, a, a trace of fire. Somebody is doing camping in that place and he left. There's a hadith Muhammad, he said, that that one is more horrible he said when he was praying there's a genie used to come shaitan used to come and disturb him trying to disturb his prayer so muhammad he overcome the genie and he tied him to the column of the house okay and he said to himself i am going to show my followers the genie all right that's wonderful here we go finally muhammad is going to show something real happened to him but muhammad he changed his mind Five minutes before his followers uh, you know, uh, uh, came to the mosque, he released the genie. And he told them, if you came five minutes ago, just five minutes ago, you would see the genie. Prophet, where is the genie? I released him. Why you released him? Because I remember the story of a Prophet Suleiman. <laughs> oh, guys. You know, you guys, you would not believe what happened to me yesterday. Okay, let me tell you something. Yesterday, after I finished my podcast, uh, a beautiful female genie come to my door. Okay, 
and this genie uh, she was like wearing a beautiful clothes burqa uh, made uh, by Victoria's Secret uh, very conservative and she told me I have a message to you from Allah and then she said to me you cannot I cannot deliver the message for you before you open the code I said okay give me the code she said you have to do breastfeeding 10 times first so I did 10 time breastfeeding until my stomach have no more place even though I was not sucking milk because she is not a mother of babies anyway <laughs> and then uh, an angel appeared to me not a genie okay this time is an angel and this angel he was half white half a black the, the reason why his name is a chess this angel he played chess so he's half white have a black and then he said to me in the name of Allah I said what he said read I, said, I can't read he said read he said, my even my English is funny Muslims they make fun of my English read and he squeezed me each time he each time I I try to read he squeezed me this angel and here we go. Somebody is asking me for a proof. I mean, what, what's wrong with you? Muhammad, he have no proof of anything. Any Muslim, he saw Muhammad being squeezed by an angel. When? Why Muhammad have no witnesses for anything? Why? You see? We have a prophets, Muslim, they witness themselves, they say that the prophets of Islam, all of them, they have miracles except Muhammad. Even David, when he sing, the birds stop and they sing in the air and the river stop moving. Hmm. Hold on, hold on. There's a Muslim is calling me names. Hold on. Let us see what this guy. Marshall, how are you, Marshall? CP is nothing but a coward. He cannot debate his book. Rather, he attacking people, Muhammad. You see, guys, let me show you the stupidity of the Muslim. If this is the case, the coward is the one who debate other one books. It means your prophet is a, is a coward because he, from the beginning of the first page of the Quran, he's attacking us. Isn't it your Quran, you idiot? Keep saying, Oh Allah, don't make us the same as the Christians and the same as the, the lost Christians and the cursed Jews. <laughs> Isn't it your prophet in the Quran says the Christian they said we could the, the Jews they said we crucified him, but we crucified him not? So how come all your Quran is based in attacking us and when we get you busted, you get upset? Huh? Now, I have a challenge for you, Abdul. What about you call me life right now and let us see how good you are. What do you think, guys? Do you dare to call me? The one who attack other one book, he is a coward according to this Muslim. This is what he said. All the Quran is based on attacking the Christians and the Jews. And those who don't believe in Islam. So your prophet must be a coward. Thank you very much. Any Abdul? Okay, CP. Be a man and pick a topic and let us debate certain topic without being into immature. Okay. Here we go. We have a topic in the front of us. All the miracles of your prophet, there's no witnesses for it. And your prophet, he says stupid things. However, I will give you a chance. You call me. Let me open my Skype. Let us see if you are brave enough to do it. And I will give you a chance. To choose a topic of your choice to prove to us that Muhammad is a prophet of God. Anything you wish. Is that fair, guys? What do you think? I mean, I cannot more more uh, generous more than this. I'm not going to pick up my own topic, so you will not say, oh, okay, he's choosing things which is making Muhammad look stupid. I want you to choose the best of topics which will make your prophet smart and make Islam as a religion. Can you do so? My Skype right now is open. Call me. Here we go. Call me. 
Do you think guys he had the courage to call? You choose a topic. Any anything will make you get the opportunity to prove to us that Muhammad is a prophet. Anything. It's your choice. I'm waiting. Don't tell me you cannot pick a topic. Remember, you are the one who said pick up a topic, right? So you gave me the chance to give, pick up a topic. I say to you, thank you for being generous with me. I am giving you this opportunity. You pick up the topic to prove to me that Muhammad is a prophet of God. Cool. You have no excuse now. Let us see who is the girl here. By the way, girls are better than you. What's wrong with girls? Your prophet, he said that women have half a brain, but we can prove that Muhammad have half a brain. Everything in the front of us is a half a brain person talking, stupid talk. However, call us, I'm waiting. If you don't call me, that's mean you are a coward like your prophet. And Abdul? Yeah, forget about him. He's a kid. He will not he will not even dare to call. Any brave Muslim have the courage to call us. So Muhammad, he saw a genie and he recited Quran for them. And those genies, they were using fire. But I thought genies are made from fire. So what does that mean? They were, they were cold or they were doing barbecue? And those genies are coming from Iraq? From Iraq? A genie from Iraq and like what how Muhammad what he said then the genie asked him oh the Holy Prophet about their provision and he said every bone on which the name of Allah is recited is your provision oh the genie in Islam they are dogs ah, yummy 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 any bone genius they eat bones and then you say the name of Allah in it and the second you say the name of Allah is going to be covered by flesh do you see it <laughs> hey, hey Muslims how come you cannot do the same how come the genie if they say the name of Allah over a bone is going to be full of a flesh I mean that's amazing miracle Imagine we have a chicken bone. I eat it. I eat a chicken today. Now I have bones. Then I say the name of Allah is going to be back as a chicken. That will be amazing. People, Muslim, they will not buy food. How come this miracle happened only to the genies and nobody can see this miracle and nobody can see the genie? Any Abdul? So Muhammad, he forbid the Muslims from using bones to wipe their ass with it <laughs> and why you should not use the bones to wipe your ass with it because this is the food of your brothers do you see it Muslim do you see it Muhammad is saying don't use bones to wipe your ass with it because this is the food of your brothers The Muslims used to wipe their ass with bones and this is was the food of their brothers for a long time. Who is the stupid here? He Muslims, the dogs of the American, they eat bones. Do you think that genie, the Muslim genie, they are eating after the dogs? <laughs> Don't wipe your ass with it, man. This is the food of your brother. This is the food of your brother. Mm. And by the way, here, does it say that the genie, they have animals? 
Is that what it says in English here? That those Muslim genies, they have animals, they have pets. What they have? What they have? What they have? The genie, they grow pets. Yeah, actually, the, according to Muslims, there is many kind of genie, but uh, not only many kind. They have many religions. There is Muslim genie, uh, Christian genie, Hindu genie, everything, etc. However, there is genies have many kind too, not only religion. Like there is a light genie, there is a water genie. Uh, there is, there is, uh, I think there is four or five kind of genie. Any Abdul? I think Muhammad was too much watching movies like uh, Hori Butar. Hori Butar was obviously is connected to Muhammad. Any Abdul? So now, until now, everything the Muslims they said in their article it was false. We show you that Muhammad he cursed people. We showed you Muhammad, he don't have a sense of a humor. This guy is a criminal. You know, was Muhammad a sense of a humor person when he cut a woman to pieces when she's alive? What is the sense of the humor of a man? He attack women and children and rape them. Or maybe I should show you the sense of a humor of Muhammad pushing himself inside the shirt of a man and the man was wearing nothing underneath. Huh? And the prophet was kissing his belly. Oh, that is a sense of humor. And the guy was saying to him, Oh, prophet, don't stop. There, there, there. Yeah, just right there. Don't, don't stop. Is that the sense of the humor you are talking about? Hmm. Do we have any Muslim here? I have a lot of the food of your brothers here, Muslims. Anyone want to come here and grab it? Any Muslim want to grab the food of your brothers? The genie are your brothers? The genie are your brothers? Are you sure? And the bones is the food of your brothers. So Muhammad is telling the Muslim, don't wipe your ass with the food of your brothers. I mean, look how connected the story is. Do you have Halim? What Halim? Any Muslim here? Any Abdul? Maybe it was sense of a humor when Muhammad he said if the women have orgasm first the baby will be a girl <laughs> Hey guys, if you are ugly, you know like me Then you better if you get married or have sex with your wife never have orgasm first You don't want your children to look your, your son to look like you All right Let the child look like her, the, the mother, you know get a, a daughter because if your wife she have orgasm first, obviously according to Muhammad, the baby will be a girl and will look like her mother. Now we can control the gender of our babies. We know how. I mean, look at this genius. How he knew that? We never thought of even science today never thought about this. It's obvious the one who have orgasm first is the one the baby will look like him and we will be the gender of him or her. That not only a sense of a humor, this is a very, very much sense of a stupidity. Any Muslim disagree with this? Or any Muslim he will say, I'm lying. By the way, what is the reason for a person to be born blind? Anyone knows? What is the reason for a person to be born blind, according to Islam? Who knows? 
if you look at the vagina of your wife while you are having sex your son will be blind if you talk when you are having sex your son will be mute obviously my father he was not looking and he was not talking <laughs> Uh, 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 good one, uh, good one. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I know what my mother and my father they were doing exactly at that day. I was I, as if I was there. <laughs> I know every single details. I mean exactly. Oh, okay, okay. Any Abdul? Huh? What do you mean, joke? Somebody's saying this is the best joke. Guys, respect, show respect. The prophet talking here. What's wrong with you? We have to show respect. We cannot say that. What do you mean this is a joke? Guys, when we talk about the prophet of Allah, this is serious. This is the prophet of Allah himself. Hey, come on, come on. This is not a joke. This guy is speaking science. It's a proving. Okay, there is a very well-known scientist. His name. He's a Japanese. His name. You can check his name. Yama. I do lie. Yama. Okay. Yama is his first name. Do is middle. Lie is last. So Yama. I do lie. Yama is very well-known Japanese scientist. Because all the Muslim article they will say to you an artist is uh, sorry a scientist his name is uh, 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 James Bond I mean they got names from everywhere and they make an article and they post it and that's it supposed to people will believe it you know any Abdul any brave Abdul we don't have a brave Abdul Anyway, guys, today I cannot really stay long. I have many things to do, all right? Tomorrow, I might open for a short time, too. And uh, if not, today is my last live broadcast until I come back from my trip. I will be away for a while, a few weeks, all right? I will update you when I'm coming back. But I will deliver to you videos during the time I am not uh, here I'm leaving the state which means I'm going abroad I have a long trip long long trip uh, so uh, pray that uh, my trip will be successful and will be good and uh, I really I want to say thank you for those who they are helping uh, and supporting in donation because your help uh, made me able to do many things including this trip I would do uh, so I'm very thankful for those people. I really appreciate them, and I hope they will, you know, keep supporting us, especially during the trip, because now the expenses will be more. Uh, for sure, I will try my best to post videos uh, during my trip, but I don't think live broadcast is an option because you need a very good internet, and I don't think in those areas I can get even close to. Uh, to the internet we have here Yeah, so you know don't worry about me being away for a while. It's just a, a, you know a trip and uh, We will update you, you know, I will I will post short videos. Uh, anyway, I have a scheduled videos already. They are scheduled to be posted uh, on time uh, About important topics. So you still you will receive videos. Nothing will change except I'm not going to be able to do uh, a live uh, video all right uh, so uh, you know god is good now we are doing really good if you see the email i'm receiving if you see the the uh, you know the respond it's really good sometimes i complain because i want i want to do more and i found myself still very limited but i'm not complaining really because we are not successful we are very successful uh, but we need to do more we need to do a lot more work Still, there's a lot of ignorance in this world, and it still is over voice is not heard yet as it should be heard. This is why I encourage people to like now the videos we made today. You can cut it pieces about topics, you know, ten minute each, fifteen minute each, and repost again. I have tons, thousands of videos. 
So this is why I ask people to work with me uh, because there's hundreds of millions they have no idea what this cult is about, especially uh, from the Muslims. Uh, so we need to do more work and uh, we should not say we have enough because we never do have enough. Especially with teenage young ones, they are the target of the deceivers. The wolves are between your children. And that is additional thing. This is why we need to educate our children. Not only we learn something here, we laugh, and then we go and we turn the TV off, or the computer off, and that's it. You need to share with your family, your friends. You know, when your child here is in the age of 12, 13, share with him videos. Show him how stupid this. You know, give him the flu shot before he gets infected with the disease. Don't wait until he is, you know, too old or too late to inform him about this cult. Always you should educate your children about dangers around them. The same when you tell a child that there is somebody who is perverted-minded, he might do child molestation to you. You need to tell them about Islam. A child is a child. He has no idea. So, you know, don't wait until it is late, until your son or your daughter is gone. The reason you see someone, she is a female, and she is uh, dating a Muslim, or marrying a Muslim because she don't know better nobody told her and then it's too late it's too late her life will be destroyed he marry her for a few years he got a green card or citizenship or he have fun with her you know especially they like to marry blonde women and then after that you get a little bit older he change you exchange you with a brand new wife she is young okay you made a choice and now you will pay the price so all those th things happen because families, parents, they don't care. Nobody teach their children about important issues happening around us. Especially if you grow up in a family with the, which they are atheist, and they don't care. You know, they think they think that uh, having a family is just to provide food and shelter and pay tuition for a child, and whatever else, it's not their business. As if the child is a cat or a chicken to feed. Having a family is extremely hard job. It's not about feeding. It's not about giving shelter. It's a lot more. You have responsibility. So start from your household. Your husband, your wife, your daughter, your son. Share. I have my book, by the way, the book about Islam and sex. Is going to be published very soon actually the first thing I would do in my trip I'm going to go to the dirty district do you know what does that mean anyone knows what the dirty district in those countries there are some areas have a have bars have a strip tees. I need a cover for my book and I cannot I don't think there's a better cover than the cover I will find there because the book is about sex and uh, you know uh, the Muslim district <laughs> exactly so I'm thinking to go there and hoping that I will find uh, a picture I will take my camera with me and uh, I just I will be careful not to take like a, uh, because you cannot put the face of a person in the in the cover right so I will try to get something fit with the book and uh, yeah so I might go there and take a uh, Take some pictures and see which one can be perfectly fit you know especially there is a there is a, a there is a Muslim corner you know there's a Muslim corner where Muslim women wear in burqa you see because the the customers the, those those kind of customers they like many kind of things they like some of them they like to sleep with women she is a prostitute who is wearing a burqa she's a Muslim you know and actually they are wanted so those women, they go in the front of the corners of hotels. Uh, they don't stand necessarily in uh, like in the front of a bar. They stand in the corner of like expensive hotels wearing their burqa. And then, you know, men coming out and in. Uh, you know, you can tell right, right away the way they are looking at you, waiting for you to approach them, to talk to them, uh, looking for a customer. Do you take a questions? Yeah, you want to call me before we go? If you have a, if you have a question,
Go. Do you? <clears throat> yeah, and guys, you you would really you would love my coming book. My my book is going to be two parts. Already, part number one is now we are working in the proofreading. So when I get the the cover picture, the book is going to be published right away. So maybe uh, maybe in ten days from now, fifteen days, maybe you know we'll see. Uh, however, the second part almost done too. Uh, actually, it's it's one book, but I I have to divide it to two books because it became big. And uh, you you will learn information there you never heard before. Uh, always when we go in details, because this is a book only about sex, so you know we we provide a lot more details here. Sometimes we repeat things because uh, we concentrate in the most important things. How long I stream today? Since uh, one thirty, so it's already an hour and a half. All right. Now, I, you know, I hope that's when we, uh, uh, you know, we publish the books, people will help us. As an example, right now we have our our book in Dutch, and very few of you is sharing it with their friends. So I hope that people will help us to share books, not necessarily the English ones. If you speak to a person who speak Dutch, share the the Dutch book. You speak to a person he speak German, you know, give him the the German book. Uh, we have the French uh, uh, translation. We have the Swedish translation, uh, and actually soon, we, we, you know, we will have our German uh, uh, book, uh, Quran and Science in Depth, is going to be published soon too. Uh, so this is why it's good if we have people who they really are willing to help. Uh, you see, I don't really mention my books when I do podcasting. Rarely, I I talk about them. Uh, but as you know, it's important, uh, you know, to have those books to be known. Number one, it, it support what I do financially, and uh, number two is the purpose of it. You will have always handy reference anytime you wish, anytime you want. You have the index, you have the ta the table of the index. You can right away go and check it out and find the reference and etc. So you do not need to go and search. And same time, there's many things. As, uh, translation, as an example, you see, Muslim translation always is false. And maybe in the future uh, project, I will see if I can translate the Quran. <clears throat> Actually, already I started, but I stopped because too many things in the same time. I have a book I'm working at too, but I stopped working it and I like uh, to finish the book about sex, Islam and sex. And most likely, I'm going to call it Allah and Sex, the name of the coming book. Most likely, uh, because it's a like straight name, direct name. You know, it's easy to know what is inside, what is inside the box. Uh, now, where is the guy who wanna call me? What is the person he wanna call? I thought there's somebody wanna call me and ask me a question. And I believe that my coming book about Islam, God and sex, is Allah and sex, is going to be uh, maybe uh, very much uh, uh, like uh, uh, Muslims, especially Muslims, they will buy it like crazy because uh, because it's about sex, as simple as that. However, there you will learn information you never heard before from anybody, not even from me. Because as I said here, we concentrate in certain things and uh, we try to make it easy. Things easy to memorize, easy to remember, easy to uh, um, to quote. Yeah. No, we don't want to make any uh, uh, like from the beginning offensive name. Just Allah and sex. That's it. I mean, how how easy, how short it is, right? The name of a book, the the shorter it is, the the better. As long it you know you can give the correct meaning of uh, what the topic is about. So it's going to be volume number one, volume number two, and as always, reference is going to be there handy, 
um, not even a single thing there is not coming with reference not even a single thing and the reference are astonishing scary a Muslim himself when he read the book he will not believe it but he cannot he cannot deny it <clears throat> you know the Muslims they have a, they have a stupid mentality as an example in my uh, uh, the, the German translation we have a hadith about Muhammad killing uh, uh, a, be a believer based on jealousy the Muslim they said to me we search in Sahih al-Bukhari we could not find that I mean how stupid the Muslims are how stupid have you ever heard of a book it's called Al-Fatuh in the book of Sahih al-Bukhari the dub stupid dumb dump I don't know Muslim they say people they say to me why you call Muslim stupid I mean he is a Muslim yet he do not know what the names of his books those are books explaining Sahih al-Bukhari like there's a book it's called Fatuh uh, al-Bari fi Sharh Sahih al-Bukhari if you open it there it says the title etc Hadith Sahih al-Bukhari but doesn't mean that this is Sahih al-Bukhari this is interpretation of Sahih al-Bukhari so the Muslims show me where in Sahih al-Bukhari says that Show me the hadith in Zohar al-Bukhari. I mean, it's crazy, it's stupid. I mean, they are like kids. They are like kids. And this is why they don't dare to challenge me. You remember that stupid guy, he said to me, uh, 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 he said to the Muslims, he made a video saying, Christian prince, you do not know which Eid is the one, Al-Fatr, which one is Al-Adha? <laughs> when he called me live to debate me, I asked him, do you want to talk about it? He refused. Why he refuse? Right? Uh, they are a bunch of kids and they are desperate to prove to themselves they are not following a stupid prophet. But I can say loud and clear there is no more stupid religion more than this is stupid religion is called Islam. And there is no more false prophet who is easy to, expo to, to ex expose. As Muhammad Muhammad and Islam is the easiest religion to expose but in order to expose always you have to have the stage you see the Muslims they have the money they they, they flood the media they flood the social network uh, you will see one Christian making a post you will find the 5,000 Muslim posting Christians mostly then they don't care for those things they don't care actually until now how many churches they are inv inviting us to teach about Islam very few until now Christians don't care you know the Muslims all their focus in fighting Christianity Christians all their focus is forget about it so you will find there's a guy his name is a Christian Prince and maybe other five six people they are fighting Islam in the other side we have a hundred million Muslim posting against Christianity this is the fact but is Islam hard to expose it is the most stupid religion there is no way a, a person he have a little brain little one you know tiny as a brain of a bird he can believe in such a cult just give him a chance to see and you will see this is why most of the Muslims who come here and they listen they leave Islam they argue with me they fight with me they call me names and then they leave us now and that's very normal because in the beginning he's upset how you say that about my prophet he never heard the heard you know heard those things before what he heard that's uh, Islam is a major religion uh, uh, you know like you and you get you get a professional deceivers like as an example you see someone like Shabir Ali who who claimed that he have a PhD and then he speak in a Christian TV station saying the miracle of number 19 and in this station you have a guy or Christians who are sitting there supposedly debating him, but they are not qualified, obviously. Because, you see, the qualification to debate about Islam is to know Islam. When somebody mentioned to you a miracle of number 19, why you don't ask him, says, okay, show it to me? Shouldn't we ask him to show it to us? If somebody says to me, there's a miracle of number 19, and he starts saying to me things, should we ask him, count the words for us, count the letters so we can laugh? You don't. Muslims always they debate people who they are not qualified. They choose their target easy. 
if they knew that this person they will debate he might beat them or there's a chance even 50 percent of getting Islam busted they will refuse to debate and if you are a person who knows a few hadith and they knew you will repeat them this is what always you have that's it this is everything you know there's no surprises that's it All right, we have a caller. hello hello CP hey my friend how are you hello my name is Simon we have talked before all right Simon hope I can help you. Um, I um, you said uh, that it was okay to ask question sure no problem and uh, I think maybe this could be beneficial for others to hear as well um, there was a new report released by Pew Research Center scientists okay. maybe eight weeks ago have you heard about it no the future of Europe not really it was about how the European Muslim population grow <clears throat> until the year 2050 okay and they show in each country what it is today, 2000 or 2016, and they show the difference um, to 2050. So they showed different countries. An example, in Sweden, it is 8% Muslim today. In 2050, it will be around 30%. All they right. show the example France, from 8%, it will be around 20%. Hmm. And um, okay. Germany, uh, same uh, number. Without, without, going, without going farther, let me tell you something. All those numbers doesn't count anyway, because as an example, what is the biggest population of Muslims in Germany? What is the ethnic? I, you know, I'm, Turkish. I'm not sure. Turkish. Turkish yeah, yeah. Turkish is the most lousy ever. No Turkish women in Germany wear underwear when she get out. So those people are Muslim by name, but how many of them are Muslims? You know what I mean? Yeah. They are. Yeah, they are Muslim, they count them as Muslims, and those those studies are false. Uh, as an example. Uh, if you go right now and see how many Muslims in US saying they count me as a Muslim when the fact 85% of the Arab in USA are Arab Christians sure sure you know so I mean, I mean if, so those if studies they those studies are, 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 are you know they are not real because in the in Europe my friend there's nowhere people they register their religion correct sure okay how so we know how many Christians how many Muslims, how many atheists there's no way. I, I would say that many Muslims don't read the Quran, right? That's no, no, no. This is not so the issue. No, 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 I'm not talking about this. I'm saying, in order to know which one of those people are Muslims or Christians, how we will know? Is that by birth? Yeah, pr probably. It's, yeah, it's, but it's, even Islam that is not, not right because how they will know how many Christians in Germany coming from the as, as an example from Syria? <laughs> how do we know? You know. I guess they have, they have their way. No, to no, they don't have their way because it's against the law in Germany, in Europe, to register the religion of the person who is asking for refugee or immigration. Sure, it's sure. it's illegal. But you cannot you cannot even ask him that question. Sure, you know. So there is no there way is... to know. There is no way to know. All those reports are false studies. They have no base, and they knew that those those reports they will they will uh, let us say they will make a. a uh, there will be a big news, you know. What I mean, it's, it's it's just people seeking for some noise to be known. I write an article, I put it under my name, and then people they will start talking about it and make me a big noise. It's like a form, but I don't believe in any in this news anyway. However, is Muslims do Muslims have a higher population than others? Yes, this is true. But Muslims are not the only immigrant. They come to Europe, and they have big birth rate. There's Hindus. There is a, a, a South American. Uh, th there is many other you know, so all those studies. I don't really care for the Muslims You should count is those who they consider themselves Muslims and they are religious anything else is a is a stupid But wouldn't wouldn't you say that even if Muslim they don't know much about Islam their loyalty should still be with their uh, There's many Muslims. They don't care. There's, there's many Muslims. They are not even Muslims. You see w w uh, when we say loyalty we talk about somebody is a believer not somebody is uh, His name is Walid you know, many of them they make fun of Islam. It's, the first joke I heard about Islam in my life it was from a Muslim. The first joke about Muhammad, I heard me myself, it was not from a Christian, it was from a Muslim. Sure. Okay. And he is from a very Islamic family. Like if you know his family, they are like a big name. You know. So a lot of Muslims they they laugh at Islam. And I gave you an example, like if I take you right now to Turkey, Turkey now is controlled by who? By Erdogan, right? 
Sure. Erdogan is a Muslim Brotherhood. Go right now, take a flight and go to Istanbul or go to Ankara or go to any big cities in Turkey and see the bars and see the, the naked women and, and, and see the prostitution and see where is Islam in that country? There's no Islam. They are talking about invasion to, to Europe, but they have no Islam in their country anyway. Yeah, I mean, they don't have the correct Islam, right? They're no, no, no. Alike. There's no Islam at all. There's no correct Islam. There's no wrong Islam. They have no Islam. <laughs> they don't have Islam because Islam is, you know, you know, when you go, when, when you when you see the Muslims in Turkey, how they live, uh, watch their movies, watch their TV, watch their 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 night, their evening. Uh, uh, everything is is far away from anything have to do with Islam. So, this is the leftover of Islam. This is not this is not the the one you want to worry about. The one you want to worry about is Islam is like ISIS. The rest are not Islam. This is this is a joke. You know, this is a joke. All of, all of this is a joke. But at the same time, we saw also when they were these uh, Muhammad cartoons, right? People thought they don't read the Quran. They were out. They were protesting. They, you know. So my yeah, those are no. Those those are those are the one who pro pro protest. Uh, uh, Sometimes, uh, let us say, uh, like you know, he feel like he's insulted because this is an ID. He's a Muslim, right? Yeah. But in the same time, he's not a Muslim. In the same time. There's a lot of Muslims. They did not go on outside and protest. Actually, I believe the majority did not. You know, the majority of the Muslim did not. They don't even care. Those, the one who uh, like go and have a sign says behead. Those are the true Muslims. Behead those who insult the Prophet. Those are the true Muslims. Those have you have to watch uh, uh, for them. The rest they don't count. You know, sure. Uh, uh, the, sure. the Algerian community, the Moroccan community in France. Prostitution, drugs, everything is illegal. Is their community, all right? I'm not putting people down, by the way, by race, no. But this is the fact. So uh, uh, they are far away from any kind of religious practice. Actually, if you go to Tunisia and Algeria and Morocco, you will see how many Moroccan they are leaving Islam and they are living in Europe, and they became Christians. As an example, there is a very famous person. His name is a brother Rashid. You have a very famous yeah. TV program in, uh, yeah. in, in in TVs, but if you if you listen to the callers, they call him. All of them, they are Moroccan and Algerian and Tunisian. They are from, uh, you know, uh, North Africa. Uh, but if you go in North Africa, there is no Christians there supposedly. So who is the who are those we call in? There is tons of uh, uh, media website songs etc. made by ex-Muslims who are leaving Islam from those countries. So. I really those things they don't count for me. I'm not really worried about it. I'm worried about only European being stupid. You see, the worry is the European being stupid. The European they fought Christianity for long, and they made uh, an empty space for Islam, because you see, if you come to a place and this, those place, those people have no belief, it's very easy to take over. Because they don't have, yeah, agree. they don't agree. have a, a belief to to defend themselves. They 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 lost their immune system. Let us say it this way: it's like AIDS getting inside your body, and you have no immune system. So, uh, 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 Europe is suffering from losing the immune system. The risk is not Islam. The risk is the stupidity is located in Europe. So, to fight Islam, you have to fight first the stupidity and the ignorance of European people. Sure. You know? Yeah, I, I understand. Yeah, so I, and I, don't, I, I, I have no worry really from all those uh, numbers. I actually I laugh at them. I seriously I laugh at them. They don't they don't mean anything. You know, like I will give you an example in the Philippines. <clears throat> I went to the mall. All right, the whole mall, all the stores in the mall are Muslims. They are the one who in, in control of uh, selling uh, like uh, cell phone, gadget, uh, uh, phone charger, power battery. You know. I mean? So everybody, every store is Muslims, but every store is a gay. The whole store run by gays, Muslim gays who have long hair, big breast, wearing short skirt, uh, 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 you know, and they think they are beautiful girls, you know. Actually, I, I, I maybe I, I, I I'll try to record them next time I go there. So you will not believe it. They are Muslims. The, there is a woman sitting in the store and she is wearing hijab. But her brother is a homosexual, dressing as a girl, putting makeup, putting you know lipstick, you know, 
like well, once I, I stood in one of those stores she is showing me the 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 power bank I want to buy a power bank and uh, the Muslim gay said to me hi sir how are you oh wow you sound like look Middle Eastern I love Middle Eastern <laughs> mm -hmm. and I said praise be to Allah <laughs> <laughs> Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. So, you know, they, the, their numbers is a stupid numbers. As an example, what is the biggest country in the world for Muslims? Do you know? Biggest population? Is it Indonesia? Indonesia. Do you know what Indonesia is? Go. They have night clubs. The night clubs in Indonesia in the size of a football stadium. You believe it? Yeah, yeah. If you see in the pictures, if you see the Muslims uh, Indonesia, the angry one, Allahu Akbar, they want to do etc. But still, they are the minority compared to the population. So where is the Muslims? The Muslims they are wearing skirt. The Muslims are going to the night club. The Muslims they don't care for Islam. So, but it's still always the one who would appear in the image is the one who who plays himself as a religious, the one who speak out. The other ones they just go and have fun and they want to live their life. They don't care. So in Indonesia, if we count how many Muslims there is between the Muslims, I might say maybe there's a 5% of the total Muslim population, uh, they are Muslims. The rest are not. Let, let me respond to that. Um, because I agree what you said. I mean, most of them are Coca-Cola like Muslims. But that's my, my, my whole point. If you look at, example, Nazi, uh, I think in Germany that time, it was around 15% that was hardcore Nazi, but they are running the show because they are very radical, you know? So if you compare that to Muslim world, I agree with you, maybe there are five, 15, 20% that that um, are true true Muslims, like they agree with ISIS, you know? But the rest will submit with them. So all I'm saying to you right yeah, now- if they take, if, they, yeah, if they take over, if you allow them to yeah, take yeah, over, well, yeah. How, yeah, but how, I'm, they, I'm, how they can take I'm just over- just gonna try to formulate. Yeah, how they can take uh, over, this is the issue. So, That's what I'm saying to so, you. It is well, what you need to fear is the stupidity of the European because if they allow them to take over, then they will be risky. Yeah, but but what, if a civil war comes, which side will they choose? You understand what I mean? Well, uh, 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 Coca -Cola I, I think I think they will choose the you opposite. They... You see, let me give you an example. Uh, there is a civil sure. war as we speak now in Syria. Sure. All right. Now, who is losing? Who is winning? Yeah, there are thirty-five groups fighting. Yeah, Islamic but who is who is, who is losing? The the Muslim Mujahideen, they are the one is losing, because sure. and the Muslims, the Muslim Sunni themselves, they notice that those the Islam is a joke, you know. So now m many of them they are against uh, you know yeah, yeah, yeah. having Islamic yeah. state. Who is the one stopping uh, the Muslims from having Islamic state in Egypt? Yeah, and other Muslims, sure. Yeah, the, the Muslim Brotherhood they won the election once, and then the Muslim themselves strike in the street. The Thirty million people went in the street. They want Islam out. They don't want Islam no more in the, in the as a government. So they yeah. claim to be Muslims. They claim that to be believers, but yet they don't want Sharia law. And that that is not the, that is the last to worry about as Muslims. A Muslim who don't want Sharia law is not is not a Muslim. You know what I mean? But let me, so, but let me ask so, you, like in the history, we have had several crusades, right? That means that Muslim can be activated and take their religion more serious with time, right? No, no. At that at that time, the, you see the 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 when at the time Muslim of the crusade. Islam was different. Islam was in the stage of warrior, you know. Sure, sure. Now there's no, there's no such thing, you know. Uh, so they themselves they are rejecting. As an example, just yesterday, Iranian government announced that English language cannot, should not, is forbidden to taught in elementary schools. Why? Because they notice that all the young ones they have after forty years of Islamic government, they love yes. the West. They love the West. Iranian, sure. they don't want Islam, you know. And they have a revolution just last week, and they they they, they captured thousands of people with them in jail. So yes. after all the Islamic regime they have, they could not erase uh, uh, what they want to erase from their head and make them Islamic. They want to be Western. So mm. the second the Islamic regime of Iran goes, I guarantee you, Islam will never come back until maybe two hundred years from now to Iran. Interesting. You know? Interesting. Yeah. So just give them a chance. You see, the best way to fight Islam, make Islam as a government. Mm. Then the Muslim they will hate it. Well, you know, uh, yeah. I have I have a radio show. I have it with the uh, brother Osama Dark Talk. I don't know if you know him. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I said in the radio that uh, Osama was upset when the Muslim Brotherhood they won the uh, the election. I told him <laughs> well, I think this is a good thing. He said, "How? Do you know what they will do to us in Egypt? Because he's from Egypt, right? He's a Coptic." Yeah. I said, yeah. "Trust me. 
the best way to make Muslims see how stupid Islam is and how ugly it is make them take over religion of over the government when Muslims is giving you speeches about morality and good things people they can believe I mean he is not in charge so you know maybe Islam can they say to you Islam is the way of life right so now those sure. people after long depression of being unsuccessful they decide to give their government to the Muslims hoping that those are the one who are the moral the good ones the religious the mullahs okay we give them the government for one year and we find that they are the most corrupt people ever mm. that's it Islam is gone nobody wants no more every TV station right now in Egypt is cursing the Muslim Brotherhood you know mm. before nobody do that never interesting yeah now they became number one, one enemy number one enemy imagine that exactly the best way to fight Islam as long you are not in charge like I can give you a lecture about being good as long I am not in charge because there's no way to judge my fruits right yeah you know there's no fruit to judge I can make speeches from now until tomorrow make them in charge who is who, let me ask, who, let, who let me ask you a lot of question who, on this one yeah who, who, just, why did on. Muslims sure, sorry. Yeah, who is the one who stopped the Muslims from taking over Algeria the Muslims Tunisia hmm. the Muslims Libya the Muslims okay so you know I mean you name it where where is the Muslims are able to 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 govern it's not America who is not actually America Obama he sponsored the Muslim Brotherhood yes you know yes yet the Muslim themselves they don't want so there's two kind of Muslims there's Muslims who they are Muslims by name and they hate Islam and they don't want Sharia law they want to music they want to dance they want they say they are Muslims they say we are believe in Allah they said the true Muslim is somebody believe in Islam as the way of life a Muslim he want to go to the night club he want to smoke he want to have a freedom of speech he want to say whatever he want a woman she want to dress as she she wish this is not a Muslim even if her name is Fatima whatever she call herself hmm. those are not my worry the worry the worry is from those who really are real Muslims the rest are just numbers Right. Yes, yeah. if, like you, you know the story, you know very well about Lebanon. You know, you know when the numbers increased, those who were radical, you know, they were pushing for a civil war. Right? Lebanon was a Christian country in the forties, right? Yeah, but in the forties. Yeah, but you see, so you see, in Lebanon. What, what do you say about that then? Yeah, then, Lebanon had a different story. You see, uh, sure. Can I hear it? Uh, like, first of difference? first of all. Uh, uh, Lebanon is very much divided. It's not really none of none of those Lebanese are religious. The only religious there I, I can say they are the Shia. The rest are not. Even the Christians there are just Christian by name. Most of them. So uh, uh, you know they speak too much of religion. But then if you go in the ground, you will find that none of them is really religious. The Shia, because of Iran, the involvement of Iran and the money of Iran. They were able to establish what's called Hezbollah, something organized as a Shia. Otherwise, the Shia are very lousy too. So all the religious groups in Lebanon, they are lousy, including the Christians. They are most of them. They are Christian by name, same as the Muslim Sunni. You go to the Muslim Sunni district, women they are wearing bikini and they are the, in the bar and etc. But yet they are they claim to be Sunni. Uh, Shia, you know, Shia are very lousy too. So uh, Islam is became, uh, let us say. Uh, it's it's a political game more than it is about religion. It is a game. It is it is uh, it's uh, it's a dirt of uh, politics, and none of them is religious. All the groups there they are not fighting for God or have nothing to do with God. It's just a dirty game, and the country is full of corruption. Uh, uh, you know, uh, everything is upside down, and the one who speak about God in the morning he get a drunk at night. Uh, he give you speeches about uh, uh, how to be uh, a person of dignity, and in the uh, uh, afternoon he do muta. So all of them are the same, sure. including Hezbollah. So in Le Lebanon is a different story, and the population of in Lebanon is not really because the Muslim took over, but because the Christians, many of them, they are immigrating overseas. Yeah, but wasn't the number around eighty percent Christians in the forties, nineteen forties, and yeah, now but, it's about but yeah, but 20? because because there's 13, 13 million Christians Lebanese are abroad. They left. Yeah. So why did they leave? They Civil leave. War, they right? No, not necessarily. Sometimes, not? Some, many of them they leave. They they, they start leaving because of discrimination in the time of the Ottoman Empire. 
However, still many of them they leave because they have a better opportunity overseas. But did they leave before the civil war? Before, yeah, long before. And, before. and the civil war make it increase too. But uh, during the civil war, not only Christian left, Muslims left, and many, you know. Uh, but the, the 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 most people who go for opportunity is the Christians. This is why even in USA, eighty five of the uh, of the uh, the Middle Eastern Arab Christians, eighty five percent are Christians of of the Arab. So fifteen percent only are Muslims. And there's many reasons. You know, Christians are more educated. They seek better education, better life, etc. And some they left during the time of discrimination, uh, yeah, so. uh, civil war, blah blah blah. Uh, but the reason, number one reason is they are flying overseas. Now, if you bring back the Lebanese Christians to Lebanon, they are the majority. Yeah, yeah, you know? I, I totally agree. Not only they are majority, there's 13 million. Inside Lebanon right now, there's 4 million. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Out, out Lebanon, there's 14 million Christians, Lebanese, you know? Yeah. So they are not really, I mean, it's just uh, they relocate themselves. And now the, they are trying to make it uh, uh, to allow the Christians, the Lebanese Christians, to be, I mean, whoever is abroad, not only Christians, to be able to be, uh, to earn their citizenship again. If they do that, then the Christian Lebanese are the majority. Big deal. Well, I agree with you, but could that be a, a personality trait that we have as, 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 as uh, Westerners or Christians that, that we're not willing to fight? We leave. Example, I mentioned to you, uh, Lebanon, also Bethlehem. I think it was sixty percent Christians, maybe like forty years ago. Now it's around five, ten, maybe. 50. Yeah, yeah. But most of them they are not about fighting. It's about a better opportunity. You see, in Lebanon, yeah. when the Muslims they have a war with the Christians, the Christian beat the hell of them. The Muslim did not win yeah, the war. Yeah. You know, uh, sure. uh, like you, you will find five hundred fighters from Hezbollah attacking a small spot of the Christians, and there's like uh, uh, one hundred fighter Christians are, are defending, and the Hezbollah cannot go through. You know, so yeah, yeah. they did not really win the war and they cannot win the war. So it's not about defending. No, they can defend and there is a very brave man there. But the major major reasons for people to flee is better opportunity. If yeah, you go to yeah. France, if you go to France, there is a, I don't know, there's, I think there's a, a two million or three million Christian Lebanese in France, yeah. you know? Yeah. And this is like, if you, if you calculate this, and I am sure when they calculate the Muslim, they calculate those Christians too. Yeah, yeah. Because that's what they do. They say, okay, a Christian prince, he is in, in the, you know, they, they, they check. They, they can get reference about how many people coming from Iran, how many people coming from Lebanon, but they cannot know how many Christians of them. So they, what they do, sure. they calculate Definition. everybody as a Muslim. <clears throat> the same when the Muslim, they calculate the Muslims in the Islamic countries too. So they calculate everyone in... Uh, they say Lebanon, but Lebanon is almost 50-50. They say uh, Sudan, they say, uh, like Sudan, before they divide to two countries, they used to calculate all of Sudan as a Muslim country, <laughs> you know? Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, same as Egypt, etc. So, uh, like in, in, uh, in Indonesia, uh, there's, I think, 12% population of uh, Christians. But when they calculate, they calculate all of Indonesia as Muslims. But Indonesia have Christians, have Buddhas, have uh, uh, Hindus, uh, you know, and there's atheists for sure. There's no way the country. Has. So, but this is what they do. It. I mean, it's a it's a joke. That's why I don't go by those numbers. The most important thing is, my friend, is fear always from a nation have no education, and a nation worships stupidity and ignorance, and a war a nation uh, try to mute people under the name of tolerance. So we are tolerance, and we will not allow you to speak the truth. That is a yeah. that is something to worry about. It's not the Muslims. Muslims have no impact unless they are sponsored by the stupidity of the European people, which is sometimes I find it amazing and astonishing. You know, like when when a mayor of a city he he uh, he he, uh, he forbid a festival was a practice for the last two hundred years because he don't want to offend the Muslims. That is the dangerous. Yeah. See, it's not the Muslims who's for putting you. It is it is the stupid European atheist who is doing in advance what the Muslims wish to have. Willingly. <laughs> you know, willingly. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so it's not the Muslims really, it is the stupidity in the West. We need education. We we would definitely playing with fire. 
especially in Europe. Well, uh, uh, the, the fire, there, is, there is a fire already. They brought the fire to themselves. But the fire, sometimes it can go big and go small. As an example, in uh, in France, in the New Year Eve, there's 1,500 cars was, were burned. Oh, wow. We're talking about literal fire now, not uh, metaphorical. And I guarantee yeah. you it's burned by Muslims, you know? So they are suffering already from having them. Uh, the, 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 the Muslims... Uh, in France, I think they are the percentage of Muslims in France uh, in, in jail is like 35%. Yeah, it's high. It's so, all yeah, it's very high. It's so simple, we simple. are talking about numbers of people who they are living there, but the fact they have a low education, they have a high crime, uh, etc. So they, they, they don't present a good part of the society. They present the lowest part and the savage one. So, uh, uh, so that will be a problem for the society um, to handle. But they are not going to have an impact in, I mean, to take over. They are people of jail. They are in yeah. jail. I mean, you go to jail, it's full of Muslims. Yeah. You see, in the Middle East, you go to, to university, you will find the Christians inside the school, like 60, 70, 80%. And then you'll find the Muslims are the rest. But it should be the opposite. If the Christian in this country is 10%, we should not have more than 10% of the yeah, students. the student. proportion is, is weird, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so the Muslims are the one who clean cars, the Muslims are the one who clean shoes, the one who work, they, they are, but, and the Christians are getting higher education, etc. Yeah, I agree. So Muslims agree. are not really a number, you know, savage ones, savage ones are can be dangerous because those are can do, do violence. They are not educated, and this is the, this is the, the dangerous about them. They are not educated. Many of them, they, are, they have a criminal background, which means they are ready to commit crimes. It's not a big deal. Uh, uh, this is what uh, Europe need to take care of. But I think Europe is a changing, and they are noticing how stupid they used to be in the last 50 years. There's many things is, is a changing in Europe. Can you, you know, give an example? I'm saying Europe is a changing. Like now, now we see uh, countries are forbidding Muslims totally to enter their country. You know? Mm. Like do not, right now, in, in, uh, there's two countries in European Union. They are saying clearly, we will not allow one Muslim refugee to enter our country. Yeah, Poland, Hungary. Yeah, yeah. this is a this is a big change. This is not Europe. Yeah. Europe was not like this. So yeah. there is a change, and this change is increasing. This is why the one they called in the right wings are winning elections. Right. The, yeah. They, they call them right wings, but the fact they are not really right wings. I mean, this is the name they give it to them, but. Yeah. They, they, they are, uh, 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 but what is the reason? The reason is the stupid behavior of those governments for the last 50 years. Yeah, I agree. And, and I mean, I like your example that you said that basically the, the West or Europe, whatever you want to say, is like a body and Islam is, 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 is like a virus in an idea, right? And the problem is the, the defense mechanism, which is example, the left. They don't care about the body and they're basically letting in something that will destroy the body. I really like this example. Yeah. So if you want to deal with this right, you have to deal with the left, right? Right. The, 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 so, the, the, the atheists, the left-minded people, they are the one, the problem. Yeah. So, so, so my question is like this. If you take a look at, I have a friend from Iran and th this, this friend to me explained how the, the, the Islamic revolution happened. Maybe you can correct me if I'm mistaken here, but those who were, that we call radical Muslims, they're just true Muslims, they were working together with the left, the Marxist, the, the atheist uh, Iranian, and once they um, overthrew the, the Shah, what happened is that the, the real Muslim, they started to persecute the left. Yeah, this is, this is, this is stupidity, because they thought yeah. they, they, can, they can be partners, but you cannot, you cannot partner yes. with the devil, you know? And this is exactly, yes. even the French, the French government, they are the one who sponsor Al Khomeini. You see, yeah. Just last yeah, week, yeah, uh, Macron, or Ma I call him Macaroni, he go, uh, uh, he he went to Iran. After all, what happened in Iran? Why he go to Iran? They are they are killing their own citizen, etc. He went yeah. to Iran, shaking hands with them because they are with them in the bed. In the bed, they are the one who was behind the Islamic Revolution in Iran. It because it's yeah, about, yeah. about money yeah. for them. You see, everything for European left is money, is business. George Soros, you know. This is the yes. man behind all the madness in Europe. Money. He is the emperor. Uh, uh, he he have his empire. He is the real emperor who control Europe. This is why he put sanctions 
on those who don't accept migrant not because you love migrant but because they are cheap employment you know yeah I agree, I agree. why he want to spend four thousand for someone like you four thousand euros at least and then he pay for health insurance and blah 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 but he can get someone for 500 euro no yeah and he hire him from behind the from the from the from the back door he don't pay him anything you know because yeah. those refugee they go and ask, ask for asylum they got a salary they got an apartment and then he work in, in they, they hire them in their companies and if immigration came to ask them if there's any illegal you know the the immigration they will not even dare to arrest because that will make a conspiracy like a problem against them and they are under the control of a left-minded government where as you see in new york like in some uh, places of democrat immigration cannot arrest somebody he is illegal you know so mm. always they are like this they are they, they, they are stupid whatever the word mean you know they are the enemies of your countries more it's you know more than isis themselves yeah i agree because they should defend the country right they don't no, no actually they are the one because they are the one who have the keys and they are the one who smuggle your your are your, your enemies too yeah. They are more dangerous than the enemy. The enemy, you know him. Those are the, the those are your own citizen, but they are the one who smuggle ISIS in. You know? Yeah, yeah. But, you know, I Trump. Mean, he said six countries. We will not allow them to get in. But Obama, he signed the same order. The same exact mm. six countries. Nobody complained. You know. Mm. So they are hypocrite and they are stupid and they are mad. Obama signed the same order. Nobody complained. Trump, he signed it. Everybody went crazy, and he is racist, he hateful. He is Nazis. They put the mustache of Hitler in his face just for the same order Obama he did. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So it, it, this yeah. is the problem. The problem is we have a, the left. Those are the real enemies. Those are the real enemies. They are mad, stupid. Don't let, let me let me ask you a follow up question on that. I mean, there's a song, an old classic song. It goes, <coughs> if you don't know me by now, you will never, never know me. Basically, it's a song about uh, how the left is acting. Let's say in the UK, there's 35,000 on a terror watch list. Still, after every terror attack, they are defending yeah. Islam, speaking about Islamophobia. Yeah. Do you think that they will ever get this point? Or is it... They will, they will, they will right get to the point, they got the point when... when the the Nick. When a, you know, like I believe, in certain time, maybe like a, a, a big civil war will break uh, in Europe. A lot of people will be, will be slaughtered, you know. And you think? then the left, the left will uh, will have will have to make a choice. But I will not be surprised if the left in the in the civil war, they take a side with the Muslims. Yeah, yeah. I will not be. This is why I'm saying they are the enemies. They are the more dangerous for more than the terrorists of ISIS and Al Qaeda. Yeah, they are the one who supplied them with information, give them refuge. Uh, give them protection uh, go and see how many movies made in the war about the war in syria by the left making mm. isis as if they are the heroes who they are defending civilian you know mm. i met actually two of them myself in asia and they, uh, the, the reason i met with them they were asking a, uh, a guy uh, uh, if he knows somebody who speak arabic very well mm. so he asked me can you help us i said uh, sure and what he said they are making a documentary, so all what you want you to watch it and see if the translator already they have a translation, but they want to be sure, like final step, that it's fine. <coughs> no, there's no wrong. So I watch it. I said, this is a joke. This is a those are those are this is Al Qaeda. Do you see the the sign in his chest? <laughs> you know, interesting. Wow. He said, wow. Uh, are you sure? I said, yeah. I said, this is Al Qaeda. What are you talking about? You know, oh, wow. so, yeah, so they are making a documentary about them Speaking about them as heroes and they are the one defending the country and the funny they are against the one who is uh, One of them the Assad is not religious Yeah, the Assad yeah. considered to be left like them yeah. So they are t siding with the Al-Qaeda against somebody he allowed women to drive yeah. allowed women to wear bikini allowed women to dance people they can drink so they are siding with the one who will beat women chop heads cut hands mm -hmm. against the mm -hmm. person who is totally the opposite but there's no logic of, the, of those uh, left uh, uh, people they are sometimes I, I believe they are kind of possessed you know they, uh, like uh, 
it's hard to believe how they how they behave. It's sometimes beyond imagination. No. Yeah, they will be persecuted later, and, and they are being. Yeah, yeah but they idiots. are. But, but they don't waste your time. They are stupid. They don't. They, were, they are not listening. Like those two guys. After all, what I said to them in that meeting, still yeah. they want to publish the the. Of course, yeah, of course. nothing changed. So those course. people are killing Christians, they are killing atheists, they are killing gays. What do you say about that? He said, "Well, you know, we are making a documentary about the civil war." I said, "This is about the civil war. How come you don't show you don't show what they are doing then?" Yeah. If you are yeah. making documentary, this is the documentary. Why you don't doc make documentary about how many churches destroyed by them, how many gays are thrown from the top of the of, of the building? You know, aren't you an atheist? Yeah. Don't you stand for the right of the gays as you claim? None of yeah. that in the documentary is speaking about one negative thing those people do. Yeah, this this is the big betrayal by the left. Yeah, and uh, yeah, and it's unforgivable. <laughs> Um, which country do you think is a big risk of having civil war first or I think civil France? war is going to break in Europe all of it not in one place but it in might start places. like in certain places like in in France France became very uh, a trashy country you know very yeah. very very trashy very uncivil and uh, there's no French people in France yeah you know there's no French you go there you'll find people from everywhere but not but nobody is from France and it's not important to be French, you know. It's like, uh, you see, when a country lose the sense of being proud of their own flag, it is the mm. time to oh, get yeah. ready to get ready for something to happen. If you live in a country, you go to jail for uh, saying I am proud to be French or to carry the French flag, and then you are praised for carrying uh, a Palestinian flag. <laughs> That's mean the country is not your country no more. Yeah. yeah. You know? So it's going to happen. I believe in England is going to happen too, but in England is going to be different. I think if it happened in English, the England is going the the English people they will finish it very fast, very very uh, very firm. But the French are lost. The French. You think they lost? They are yeah because they are the the, the society is very much uh, the atheist society. I see. Even churches, I see. even churches, government, they control them. They go to the church and they they they, they watch what you say. It's, you know they claim to be a civil society, but I find them uh, after I learned about this the the French system, this kind of uh, uh, communist. So you mm -hmm. you open a church, you open a church, but you don't talk about your religion. They want uh, like it's a, the church is an interfaith place where everybody is welcome, and you don't speak about anything except stupid things. So. You know, uh, in your church, you cannot say um, gays is wrong. You cannot say Islam is wrong. You cannot say what. So, what is the church for? Did you hear what Sweden did about a month ago? Uh, uh, no, no. They they took away God. They, instead of calling him, him, they put some gender neutral. <laughs> did see, you hear about I mean, that? See, yeah, the so, church. So, what is left? What is left in the so, new, in the new yearly book? Yeah. Because what do you think about Sweden? What is the future of Sweden? I think all those countries are going to suffer badly because not not necessarily because of Muslims. When you have immigrant more than the population, the country is not a country no more. Mm. You know, uh, you have you, you are you, you yourself you will be the immigrant soon if you are from Sweden. If you are a mm. Swedish person, originally from Sweden, you yourself you will find yourself a foreigner, because a foreigner is when he is the minority. You know. So they are bringing people from everywhere. I don't care really. I'm not talking about Muslims. There's a lot of Christians in uh, in Sweden from the Middle East, immigrant, right? Uh, so imagine if the country became uh, eighty percent Lebanese Christians. This is not Sweden no more. This is Lebanese. Mm. This is the new Lebanon. <laughs> you know. Mm. So it's mm. stupidity. I mean, what you can what you can say? Uh, they are they are, they are they are digging for their grave. This is why I believe in uh, Europe is going to suffer from civil war. Uh, not necessarily with the Muslims, because there is many uh, ethnics and many uh, differences, and people they lost their uh, uh, nationality. There is no nationality no more. People they bring with them their nationality, but then the, the citizen of the country they lost it. <clears throat> I will not be surprised. So, uh, I will not be surprised yeah, if sorry. if, uh, if uh, the immigrant in uh, Sweden they kick all the Swedish people out. Why not? They can kick them out. 
and they will, or they will force them by discrimination to leave why not you are the minority you will be sooner or later you are the minority so who will the civil war be between it, it, it doesn't matter really who is going to be between who it might be between everybody because uh, there's many groups many ethnics I see I see it's going I to see. be messed up every every uh, street is going to be a, a state <laughs> you know like I in, see like, I in, see. Liba like yeah. in Lebanon you see we, Lebanon, yeah, 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 we have I experience in, in how it is going to be uh, so yeah. e every few streets are our state and they have a prince and they have an ethnic and they have a religion and they have a flag and they have arms and you know they have gates so it's going to be a messed up islands. Every island claim its own king. You will go to the savage days, you know, like. Uh, <laughs> I see. I see. Into yeah. the seven centuries, uh, you know, this is what yeah. will happen. A massacre will happen. People will, sla will be slaughter, and then they will go back to zero, and then they have to rebuild the country from from uh, from beginning. But it's going to be something new. Europe is not going to be Europe no more. Yeah. But I believe this is what will not happen to all of Europe. It's going to happen to certain parts. Mm. Especially big cities, you know, because I still I believe that the countryside is more secure and safe sure. It's not mixed too much with immigrants uh, But big cities are going to burn Yeah you know? How how was it in Lebanon? Which side did the left take? Uh, you know, the in, in, side in, or the, the, the Christian that tried to resist this? Uh, you, you know, know the, the, in, the, in Lebanon the, the left are not uh, not in charge in any way There's no left there's no left because the left, uh, you know, let's say uh, they will not find really. There is only communist, we can say, but still they are not really strong because most of the groups in Lebanon establish on religious background. I see. I see. Yeah. It's not established on left um, organizations uh, or ethnic. As an example, the Druze. So because they are Druze, they are a religious called Druze. So it doesn't matter really if you are a, an atheist at the Druze or not. The attack against the Druze, you stand with your your people. I see. You know? So it's different. Yeah, same as some, same some as the, same as we when you say Christians, like war between Christians and Muslims. There's many Christians there. They are Christian by name, but when the war happened, you know, you, you are at risk because you, they consider you Christian anyway, even if you are an atheist. You know. Yeah, I understand. So do you, but you, you but you said you said before that you think that. The left might take the side of Muslims uh, in Europe. Yeah, in Europe. Yeah, yeah, in Europe. Do you yeah. think that can happen? Oh yeah, because still oh. they will not. You know, they they prefer to to side with the devil against anyone is uh, from the right. Oh yeah, so they have their the right is bigger enemy. I yeah, see. yeah, they will not. The same as you said, you just said uh, how the how the left they did in Iran, right? The communists yeah. they, they side with the the mullahs, and then the the mullahs they kill them. There's no there's no more uh, communists in Iran, zero. They put them all in jail or kill them or make them leave right so they side with them and then they uh, you know they pay the price i see yeah. So, yeah now this is very very interesting information um you know we can have a lot of facts but we need insight so from discussing from this from learning what you know about history you know it helps us a lot you know and what should we do if we live in these countries you know France, Belgium, Germany, fight for your Sweden, rights. UK. Don't leave. Fight for your rights. You know, we you should leave. fight, right? Oh yeah, you leave. You you, you are a loser. Where well, you will leave? They will keep chasing you wherever you go. Because if you see, if I leave and I move from Sweden to France, but they are in France too. Then I leave to Germany. They are in Germany. Then I leave to Eng to England. They are in England. <laughs> so where do you go? You know. So you stay in your place and you fight for your rights. And it doesn't matter what's going to take. You do what you need to do. You know? Yeah. Otherwise, you yeah. Have, you have no, you know. You see, a nation who does not fight for their own right, they have no right. No, I agree with you. I, I definitely agree with you. But I'm, I'm like <laughs> the amount of terror attack that we have had in Europe. You know, we have enough to ask what's wrong with this. Oh, nothing happened. I, I, yet. Nothing. Nothing happened. Know, this is this. You think uh, this is a light? <laughs> oh, this is nothing. This is not. Trust me. You. It was. It's going. It's going to be crazy. This is oh, yeah? this is not even a law. Oh yeah, just wait. Uh, I believe in twenty years from now, Europe yeah. is going to suffer badly from uh, terrorism, and then the European they have to find themselves. Uh, they have to take an action. Either yeah, sure. either they kick the Muslims out. Just make it clear, you know, because you, you, you will reach the point you will not know who is a terrorist or who is not. 
yeah, yeah, yeah. You cannot, you cannot find, you cannot watch everybody. You know how you can watch. You have millions. You don't have like ten thousand or twenty. So, time will come. You have to make a decision. Either they stay and you leave, or you leave, and or they leave and you stay. Oh wow! Civil war is going to happen, and when it's happening, it's going to is is going to be uh, like uh, it's not going to be like an arresting a person. It's going to be a war. Mm. You know, if the if the Muslims now became uh, like in a certain area, like uh, as an example, just six months ago in the city of Marawi in the Philippines, they occupy a city and they announce it to be Islamic State. Yeah, you know, yeah. The Muslims can do the same in France anytime, and it's going to happen. I believe mm. it's going to happen sooner or later, you know. Depend, depend on how smart they are. If they do it now, it's mean they are stupid. If they wait, they are smart. But they might do it now. Yeah. You know, there is there is some uh, some cities in uh, in France. The majority are Muslims already. Uh, they can uh, they can control the city, bear arms, and uh, close the roads and uh, announce it to be Islamic State. Yeah, that was yeah, that was my whole point from the beginning. Yeah, I agree with you. That's they will do that. that it's, it's going to happen, but but that will be for the for the benefit of France, if this has happened. What do you mean? Well, because you know we we say in the Middle East, if you don't make a fire, you cannot stop the fire. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you have to burn. It can wake many people up. Yeah, yeah. you have it to has burn. To get worse. Like you see, if you yeah. have a fire coming from from the side of the wood to your house, what do you do? You have to burn some trees in order to burn to stop the fire. Right, so if they start the fire, that will tell you, like an early fire, let us say, that will save you from the big fires coming. That will give yeah, you a big alarm. You will yeah. be ready. You know exactly what's happening. Yeah, good example. Yeah. Yeah. So if if they started such a thing, would it be good? The same yeah. as in Syria, like now, the Muslims they started a big fire in Syria, not a small one, but they lost it, and they lost it for a very simple reason. They they made a wrong calculation. They forgot there is a big number of a Christian Orthodox in Syria and the Russian they will not leave them alone mm -hmm. uh, They forgot the Shia they will defend the Alawi in Syria uh, 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 They forgot that America have no friends and they are with you today tomorrow. They will have a new president You know mm -hmm. those countries they don't have a they are not like a, a, You know uh, like Russia You know what I mean, it's like they don't have, they don't have a stable uh, politics the, the new president he can switch 180 degree from the yeah. previous one so uh, the, they made a wrong calculation and everything went upside down so now they wanted to establish Islamic State in Syria what will happen is the opposite it's going to be a very civil state mm -hmm. Islam have no place in it except by name I see. Christians will I have see. more rights atheists will have more rights communists will have more rights and Muslims, they will be just normal. So the dream of having an Islamic state is gone. But why did they reject ISIS? I mean, they follow Islam. No, it's not as close. It's, as it's not Muhammad. because they reject ISIS. They did not. And you see, at the beginning, the beginning, the Muslims are willing to side with the, with the devil. Uh, with, oh, and ISIS is considered as part of them anyway. Uh, For six in, months. In right. order to yeah, in order to get rid of the Assad. I see. But then. Uh, you know, as usual, the Muslims are they are greedy and they they kill each other. You know, as usual, nothing changed since time of Muhammad. So they start killing each other. You know, and then the Russian came. You know, the the Muslim they made a, a very clear mistake in the beginning of the war. They announced that this is a religious war. A, re a religious war. This is jihad. That's mean we are going to kill the Christians, or they have to pay jizya. And the Christians, yeah. the Christians in Syria, majority of them they are Greek Orthodox. Greek Orthodox, they have a full support of the Orthodox Church in Russia. I you know? see. The war actually, uh, the war in Shishenia, which has happened long time ago, happened because of the of, uh, of the, the Greek Orthodox in the, in Syria. You know, the Russian attack Shishenia, at, which, which was part of uh, the Ottoman Empire at that time, in order to force mm -hmm. the Ottoman to stop killing the Christians, Armenian and Christians in Syria. You know, so the Russian always they have a relationship strong relationship and this is not the soviet union no more the church there is very powerful now putin is a christian church there is a, uh, almost in full control of the government so it's very important for putin to uh, to go with the with the with the will of the church 
So when the Muslims announce a war of jihad against the Christians and the Alawi, that means the Christians in Syria, they have no more place. Syria is going to be Christian free. So they have to make a choice. Either they let them die and or they defend them. America was defending, arming the Muslims, the terrorists. Russia oh, yeah. was defending the Christians. This is what happened exactly. So mm. the, the involvement of uh, the Russian uh, army in the war changed everything. Mm. No, and that for for the good of the Christians there right now, you know, Russia is going to have a base in the middle of Syria, two base actually, and that make the Christians there feel very comfortable. They are not worried about any more threat from anyone who they are. Nobody there. No. Yeah. No, I agree. It's. Um, I think ISIS they did a big mistake. Same with nine eleven. They were too early. They should have waited 30, 40 years from now to declare, you know, um, uh, Islamic states because the numbers would be different. Now, what they did is they waken up a lot of European, a lot of Americans, a lot, a lot of you know, yeah, they, they, Australians. They, they came now to, we know that they came to the bone. They came to the bear and they hit him with a needle. Yeah, they should have waited because yeah, I mean, nine eleven. It's so sad. Three thousand people died, but now the world wake up. And if they haven't wake up, at least thanks to ISIS. Now many Muslims have left Islam, and at least infidels. Now we know there's something wrong here, you know. So you see, maybe all those people they are listening way. to me now. All those people they are listening. Sure. It's just because of 9/11. Because of yeah, 9/11. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. If not 9/11, I used to open my chat room and pal talk How before. How was it? Nobody yeah. come. Nobody. I see. I get I 10, see. 15 people. Nobody come. If I speak to an an American room, they bounce me. They get up. Right away they say to you, "You are teaching hate." <clears throat> you know, 9 11 happened the day after. I have a 300 people in my chat room, which is the full, I see. the full capacity. I cannot take no more. This is the, like the maximum. You know, it was 200. I I, uh, I order a club room, which is like you pay money, you make it 300. So <coughs> a day before, nobody nobody want to listen. Nobody care. No, and even after 9 11, I have a lot of a problem with the Western to convince them that this is an evil religion. Oh, yeah, yeah, because yeah. until now, you see Christian, they say to you, I have a Muslim friend, he's nice, he doesn't do anything wrong. You're you know, you are teaching hate. I mean, I mean, we show them the evidence after you know, how many, if we say right just last week, how many Christians get killed by Muslims just last week? I have no idea. Well, uh. Just in uh, in Mali, they they behead sixteen people. In, oh, wow. in, in Nigeria, they they shot fourteen, uh, 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 you know, farmers. Uh, they 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 killed, uh, uh, I think, uh, twelve, thirteen student. I mean, this is just in one territory in Africa. Mm. You know? so this is you know uh, how like every day there is a terrorist attack somewhere every day. And the target either Christians, like in the in the Christmas day, in Egypt they attack a church trying to kill as many. They killed they killed I think thirteen or fourteen people in yeah, Egypt. Yeah. <clears throat> but because you know it became a normal news, nobody count no more. Even yeah. even against uh, Muslims, you know the Muslims, like how many how many Shia killed last week because of the Sunni, <laughs> you know yeah. Sunni killing Shia, Shia killing Sunni. Uh, how many Sufi? This is a this is a disgusting cult. This is why I'm not really worried about Islam as Islam because Islam, it kill each other anyway. You see, they, they will not be a one unit to control you. There are many groups. They themselves, they are. This religion is self destruction, and this is yeah. one of the reasons I'm not really worried about Islam as much. I'm worried about the stupidity of your own citizen. Otherwise, mm. Islam Islam is going to destroy itself. You know, yeah, who, it's, it's going to create a lot of damage. Yeah, Islam, way. right it's, now, who is fighting in Syria in the ground? Yes, there is Russian, there is a, a, a Christian Syrian. Yes, but there is the, the, the there is a major uh, fighters from the Shia and the Sunni. 35 Islamic groups. Yeah, but there is a, but, the, but the major fight, the major bloodshed is between Shia and Sunni. Sure. If you go and yeah. watch the videos of the Muslim Sunni, they aren't speaking about killing the Christians. They forgot about the Christians now. They want to kill yeah, the Shia. Yeah, they yeah, want to yeah, kill yeah. the Iranian. They want to kill the Shia. Yeah, yeah. They want to kill Hezbollah. 
they are not the enemy of the Christians no more. Not because they don't hate them, no, but because they forgot about them for now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah, they're more important, dangerous uh, enemy, more than the Christians. So they focus in the in the Shia right now. <laughs> so this is why this is why I'm saying Islam Islam is a threat only for itself. Which country is called Islamic country is not facing the threat of Islam? Islamic country are facing the threat of Islam. Islam is a threat to Muslims mm -hmm. before anyone. Algerian. Mm -hmm. Do you know how many go right now and search on Google how many die because of Islamic attacks in Algeria? More than a million and seven hundred thousand mm -hmm. in Algeria alone. You know, Muslims killing Muslims. So Islam mm -hmm. is a threat for everything, and they will not dominate. They will not take over. They they will just des destroy. Yeah, I agree with you. I mean, they you cannot know? hold what they. They cannot because take over. even even if they if they hold, as an example, I will give you an example. There's a there's a city in in Syria. It's called Idlib. So uh, many Islamic groups they attack the Syrian army and they took over it. Okay, now we are all taken over. All of us we are Muslims, but now it's time to divide the cake. <laughs> you know. Yeah, 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 so yeah, what yeah. we start doing, we start shooting each other. You know. Mm. So we take over all of us. Then we kill each other, and now the Syrian army is taking the the the, the city again. Yeah. Because they start killing each other as usual, fighting over the booty, money, you know, and then the the enemy will go back and take what what he lost. So, Islam is uh, is a self destruction religion, and it has no future. Is that what happened in Spain <laughs> under Luz? They start to fight among exactly the, the Muslims. They occupy Spain for a long time. Uh, but years, but yeah. but and then the Spanish, you know, I, I'm I'm so proud of them. They were able to take their land back, but they took it when the Muslims was fighting, divided with each other, as usual. Yes, you know. Yes, yes. They are they, everybody. He make his own uh, state, as I told you. They will make state. Every every prince he will make a state. He will have some soldiers. Uh, it's not under one uh, king no more. It's not under one ruler. They are very much divided, and they will lose. Like, yeah. like, like ISIS, you know, they, they announce a caliphate and they have a big land. But what the first they start doing? They start killing uh, Al Qaeda. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. They, yeah. Al -Qaeda Why? Because Al Qaeda is the only threat for them. They are in competition in the business. You know, they are in the competition. Like we have now two two groups claiming to be in the Mujahideen. Uh, let us say the big names. So ISIS, they knew that uh, Al Qaeda is sucking a lot of recruitment, which can come and join them. So what we can do, we should make them look like Satan, and then we convince the Muslims that those are the wrong group to join. So we mm. go in war with them, and Al Qaeda was doing the same. <coughs> you know, this is Islam. Yeah. This is why I'm not yeah. really, I'm not worried about this cult, except it's going to be destruction for some countries, but they will not take over anything. They are not, they are not, not, not to qualify to take over anything. Yeah, very, very good insight. The problem is not just Islam. I mean, we think it's the left, but it's not also just the left. It's the weak right. Example in Europe, like everybody is being subjective, Marxists, uh, you know, the left are basically destroying their own country. So with every terror attack, you said 9-11 or ISIS when they erupted, you know, people are waking up. So maybe the right is too weak. And we need to make maybe yeah, maybe make the right change. more stronger. It's going to change. It's going to change. You know, uh, uh, sometimes it, it might be, but you will notice that there's many outspeaking people. They are going up uh, in public. Things is changing. I, but I, our I, government I, is against us, CP. It doesn't matter. They are going to collapse. At the end of the day, government is is based on election. So one day they will find themselves. There's they have zero vote. I see. I see. You know, people they they can listen to you, keep believing you. And then you you know the first time they considered a mistake, but it was not a mistake. It was a stupidity. Second time, third time, fourth time, then no, they will not believe in no more, and they will lose. <clears throat> this is why you will see in the European Parliament now the the numbers of those who they never no, nobody heard of them is increasing. Those who nobody want to listen to them, they are getting bigger. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, yeah. same in France. So things will change. I, I'm very sure from that. And the biggest change will happen when the Muslim they make say, something big in Europe. You know, like you mean attack? Big something big. They might take over a city, make like what they oh. did in Morawi, you know, make Islamic State. Something big will happen. I'm sure it's going to happen, and that will be the biggest change in Europe. It's going to happen. You see, 
the people do not notice what's happening. Uh, UK is out of European Union because of, some, of yeah. the immigration. As simple as that. So even mm. UK is changing. They found themselves, they are more vulnerable because being part of European Union. They cannot control even who can come to the country, who cannot. This is why they decide to come out. So after mm. everybody consider that UK is a very important part of European Union and there's nobody is going to get out. Here we go, it's out. So European Union is going to face a very important uh, uh, fact is going to happen soon. They will find themselves either they are willing to to to, uh, to sacrifice everything to keep European Union and keep immigration coming and Muslims coming, or European Union is going to collapse and every country is going to close its border and they will have their own civil war. No, I believe that it sounds very reasonable. Yeah, it's going to happen. So they have very to choose. Reasonable. Like now, uh, already uh, Poland is saying to them, "No, no, I don't care. You wanna you wanna kick us out? Kick us. You know, no way." And there is more country to follow. You know? uh, yeah, uh, so, I believe you. Yeah, so, so it is, it it's going to be that this wave is going to get bigger and bigger, especially, you know, it's endless. Like you have your, your borders open until now, there's thousands of people coming every day. It's not like just uh, last year. You know, you have a stupid ministers who keep saying, oh, refugee are welcome. Okay, refugee are welcome. There's, there's more than a billion refugee uh, uh, can come from Africa. Every African. He have dream. I mean, I don't blame them, regardless if they are Muslims or Christians or or Hindus or Buddhists, whatever they are. People, they have a dream. They want. They have a better life. Why somebody will live in Mali or Nigeria if he can come to England? Of course, of course. You know. So you say to them, yeah. "We'll come." Here we go. Every day, a boat will stop. Have two thousand, three thousand, four thousand, five thousand. But there is a limitation. This is Europe. Europe is small. How long? How for how long they can take this? So this will cause explosion. You know? so, so when they when they when it comes, let's say twenty years, when it get really really bad, do you think that Europeans will go back to uh, Judeo Christian values and more people will become more I, I, religious? I, I don't know what is going to be about about religious, but I believe uh, they will they will go back to their sense of logic more than just a religious. Sure, sure, uh, sure. Uh, about uh, this is my land, this is my country. This uh, this is wrong. This is right. Patriotic. Yeah. Yeah. They will. Yeah. They will. They will try to start seeing things as it is more, and this is the important. Sure, uh, sure. Yeah. But being a believer, this is a different story. Uh, but but uh, as I said, the change have to happen in, from inside. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Not outside. And it's Very happening. It's happening. Let us see. Let us see how long it's going to take before the Muslims announce an Islamic State in France. <laughs> you know, we will see. If they yeah. announce that, then the war will happen. The French army, they will find themselves, they have no choice, but they demolish the city, take over it. And then suddenly, the left, they will find themselves look like a fool. Yeah, yeah. And then everybody who was welcoming refugees and welcoming uh, foreigners and welcoming opening the borders, those people, they will find that they were dumb, stupid, idiot, and everything will change. Yeah. So, so, so Westerners, they, they will learn the experience, and then they will take people like us more serious. You know, they they ask they ask a person, uh, you, like he said, uh, "I will take a bullet for you." So then the guy he said to him, "Have you ever have a bullet?" He said, "No." So don't say until you have it one. <laughs> you know, don't don't tell me I will have a bullet for you until if you, have you ever have a bullet in you? You don't know mm -hmm. what bullet mean. Okay, say yeah. it after you have it. Then I will I will know you mean it. So European they are talking about I will have a bullet for you refugees, but until now they don't, yeah, yeah. They don't feel the bullet. Let let wait until the yeah. bullet come, and then you will they just have a different patience. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I want to ask last last question. I saw a book <coughs> that is around eighty years old uh, they were talking about Islam and they were very very honest they call it not Muslim they call it Mohammedans yeah actually they are they Mohammedan. yeah and they were describing how Islam was barbaric in these books and uh, last week I saw my cousin's book she's around 12 years old and you know they changed the way how they describe Islam definitely why did they change why why, why did the left it's change? In purpose because the left own owns because the because system. because you see why uh, the left they consider Christianity is an enemy and they want to they want to get rid of it uh, you know like it's like uh, uh, you have uh, uh, 
you know, you don't like cats, so you bring the dog. You know? So you bring the dog, and you get him inside the house. And then you find that the, go the dog is going to bite you. And then you try to find different animal to kick the dog. <laughs> you know? Wow. So uh, they are stupid. I mean, what you can say? All right. Yeah. All right. Thank you, CP. I Thank you for the calling. conversation. All right. Bye-bye. You're, You're welcome. Thank you. All right. <clears throat> all right guys uh that was a long uh, call and he you know uh, i appreciate this uh, uh, this uh, brother thank you for calling uh simon uh, you know we speak against islam but remember the number one dangerous is is your ignorance and my ignorance the bible says my people their ignorance they destroy because of their ignorance and this is exactly what's happening in europe otherwise europe is a great civilization i mean it's amazing but what what civilization can do to you if it was in the past and you cannot preserve it for tomorrow for your children you know uh, uh 20 30 years ago european police they used to be worried about people getting drunk in the new year evening that is not the worry no more the worry is about you know terrorist attacks so this is what european did to themselves why we are here? Why are you from cities which is safe? Your daughter, she can walk in the street in the middle of the night and she is not worried about rape. To the point that in a New Year Eve, you have more than a thousand rape happen in one city and done by Muslims. How we reach this point? So, you know, the problem is they don't want to face the truth because the truth hurt. They don't want to even say who is the rapist. When a Muslim he made a terrorist attack, they say a desperate Muslim, a desperate Muslim, or a Muslim have a mental issue. Look like all the terrorists they have mental issues in Europe. But all of us we knew that Osama bin Laden is an engineer. The head of Al Qaeda is a Zawahiri. He have a PhD. He's a doctor. The caliphate of ISIS have a PhD, is a doctor. They are not ignorant. They are not mentally ill. They are very highly educated people. But because the agenda of the left always is to sponsor the devil, nothing will change. If a Christian prince did something bad, they will say a Christian fanatic. But if he was a Muslim, they will say a desperate Muslim, you know. You remember when uh, when the the news came about uh, uh, burning a, a refugee camp in Germany? Articles written about the fascist, the Nazi, the filthy, the hatred, the scumbag, blah blah blah, thousands of articles. Five days after, they found out that the one who did the burning it was a Syrian refugee. The article title in the same newspaper changed from Nazi fascist. To the following desperate Muslim, uh, sorry, desperate Syrian refugee tried to burn a camp. <laughs> the same act, the same act, if it was done by a German, it is a Nazi fascist. If it is done by a Muslim, he is desperate, he's a poor guy. I mean, pff, come on, you know. So uh, you have a media. This is the, uh, your enemies. Your enemies is the media of the left. George Soros is the devil. He is the one who controls most of the medias in Europe. This is the devil himself. This guy have big two horn in the top of his head. This is the emperor of the devil kingdom. His money is the source of all evil in Europe. He is the one who tell your government what to do, what not to do. He is the real leader. It's not your prime minister. No. <clears throat> anyway, I want to say thank you guys for being here. It have it is time for me to go. As I said, I will try tomorrow to do a live podcast. But if I could not, then that means I'm going to be in my way uh, to my flight. Uh, I will be away for a few weeks. Pray for me to have a successful trip. And I appreciate those people who support us again with their donation. 
I hope they will continue helping us, especially now during the trip, because the expenses will be more. I'm very thankful for them and for all of you to have you here. I love you all. May the Lord bless you. And don't be this like upset or uh, let us say, uh, don't feel down. We are victorious. Things is changing and changing for our benefit. You see, you will not know what sickness means unless you get sick. You will not know how healthy is beautiful to be healthy until you get sick. You will not know how price is your tooth until you get pain in it. So sometimes, uh, you know, bad things can be, uh, you know, they can generate something good. Bad, not always, is, you know, it's happening for a reason. So the bad will not make me weaker, it's going to make me stronger. And if not bad happening, me and you we will not be here. We will not be using our brain and thinking deeply and trying to find out how we can uh, do better. So even even the bad can be a motivation, encourage us to do better and to do to be better people. So bad will never make me feel down. If the Lord is with me, who could be against me? So stay with your faith. Be faithful for your Lord and be truthful with yourself and be brave and don't be a coward. If you don't defend your rights, you have no rights. If you don't stand yourself, you are not exist. For somebody else will speak instead of you speak. If somebody asks you your opinion, say it. If you do not ask you for your opinion, still you say it. Because your opinion should count. Don't be a person who watch and say, I don't care. Those who don't care, nobody care for them. You are no one. You are just a number. Sooner or later, you will die and they will put you in a box and they will bury you. Speak. You will not live more than you will live. So don't be worried. You will die once. Either you live with honor or there is no need for such a life. You see, many people, they say to me, don't you worry about what you say. They might kill you. Okay, kill me. I live and I'm happy with I what I did. I don't want to live all my life into the last day as a coward, as a dog. What is the benefit of this life? Nobody will remember you. Nobody will even mention your name after you die. Because you were no one. You were a coward. You were a person who hide under the bed. A person who don't say the truth. He don't deserve to be part of it. You have to be part of the truth so you can be remembered by the truth. And the truth is what our Lord, he said. I am the Alpha, I am the Omega. And the one who is the Alpha and the Omega, who, who can be against him? History, it repeats always itself. And I believe people will come to Christ sooner or later. And all those who preach evil, they will pay the price they preach for. I notice always through history that Muslims, when they preach evil of the devil, they are the first one to pay the price of the evil they preach. And the proof is look around you. Which country have a peaceful life? Which country is a flourishing and have Muslims? I will tell you, there's countries they are flourishing like Emirat, but there's no Islam there. There's no Muslim in Emirat. What is left is left over. The whole country is foreigners. The whole countries are Christians or Hindus or, you know, there's no. If we go to Islamic countries, we will see how, how bad their life is. Like which country? Pakistan? Bangladesh? Saudi Arabia? Egypt? All of them, they are suffering from Islam, from their terrorism. Islam bring nothing but suffering. This is why I am very sure that those countries are going to stay away from Islam and they will find the truth sooner or later. The world is changing and because of the internet, we are reaching out to every house, to every phone, to every head. 
without going there. And that is something nobody was able to accomplish before. Right now, as we speak, I'm sure there's people from Pakistan. There's people from India. There's people from Philippines. There's people from everywhere in the world. The internet is amazing. And it's time to get this cult busted and let everybody laugh at the stupidity of this man. His name is Muhammad and how disgusting he is. And this is your duty and my duty. And thank you very much for supporting what we do. May the Lord bless you all. And until I see you in a few weeks from now, I say Christ is Lord, Islam is false. And maybe, maybe, not sure, I will see you tomorrow before I leave to the airport. God bless. Thank you.